right, everyone, we're having a nice, quiet evening here at the Poppycockers. As you can see, the dance floor is empty. The showroom is, the showroom is, uh, the, the girls just are, you know, they're resting. It's the big Super Bowl day. It's this big Super Bowl Giants experience. We got everything going on here today. We're going to have some fun stuff going on. We're going to have some good stuff. But you know what? We're here at the Poppycockers where it's quiet. We're just going to talk some football. We're going to talk some Giants. We are going to talk some Poppycockers. We're going to talk everything. So we got, you know what? Pretty soon the girls will be coming out. And that's going to be happening later because we're here. What's going on? Zach Attack is already in the house. I already did that. Big Dom is dropping it. Make sure I hit that like button. Don't want to get the mod upset. No, Zach Attack. Dom is not the mod. <laughs> I think some people think Dom is the mod, but no, Dom is not the mod. As Dom is in the room. We got Zach. Dominic Parver is the mod. Urban Meyer. Or the mod should be Urban Meyer because he does need a job. He does need a big job. We got a lot going on, of course. This is good. This is the let's T Brad's in the house. What's going on, T Brad? This is the last. This is the last hoorah. This is the last game of the official part of the season. We can then start the giant. Technically, we could then start the giant season starting, I would say, basically starting after this game. Uh, start of the league year is going to be March 16th. So we got to clear out $20 million in cap space. Only a slight amount of cap space. We got to clear out twenty million dollars, <laughs> but we'll 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 but we'll we'll be all right. We'll be okay. Giants fans, I'm predicting ten to twelve wins this season. You but you've been here, Papa Cargas, a little too long. <laughs> looks like you got here. Looks like you got here before anyone else did. <laughs> I hope that's just a joke. I am predicting. Of course, I am wearing my number seven. I got my Malik Willis jersey on. Got the Malik on. Got the Willis on. Shoulders are so broad, so broad, I can barely keep this jersey on. Uh, we got the Malik, and I love it to the people that are like, "Oh, oh so we get some other things coming." I love when people go, oh, "Number seven's retired." That's blasphemy. Um, okay, Melheim from 1931 to 1941. I understand he's a pro bowler, and it's a joke, people. <laughs> For all the people that don't get that it's a joke, it's a joke, people. Having some of that good, smooth black rifle coffee. Derek was in the house. Derek Ramirez. How's it going on, my friend? Jeff is stopping by to make sure that everything's going on well here at the Poppycockers. Everything's always going here at the Poppycockers. The Super Bowl, what are we looking for? The Bengals, and what are you looking for from the Rams? I'm hoping the Rams light up the Bengals. I hope OBJ and Cooper Cup turn Eli Apple into an apple pie that is baked and dropped on the floor. I still got the Rams taking this one 35-28. But we're not here just to talk about the Rams. We're here to we're here to talk about the Rams. We're here to talk about the Giants. We're here to talk about what what moves this giant organization has made. But of course, we can also talk about the Rams. We want to talk about all this stuff, all this fun stuff, because you know what? There's a lot of stuff going on here, and we need to talk about it. We need to be a part about it. Stop audio. Oh no, we're not going to start the audio. <laughs> we're not starting the audio already on that one. But we, come on, we got to have some giant talk here. Grant jumping here. MetLife is the biggest, is the Jets' big green dump. The Giants don't really have a true home stadium, the Giants' homes. Yeah, Grant, we understand the fact that you don't like, <laughs> you don't, you don't like MetLife. And I, and I have disagrees. My hair's a little, po my hair's a little poofy today because of the headphones. I can understand you not liking MetLife. It's just what it is. It's not a joke. It's for real me. I want Mr. Alvarez. I want Malik Wills. I'm just talking more about the fact that people were upset that I took a, a retired number from a, a gentleman from the 30s who played in the 1941, who no one's really ever heard of in the fan base, and they're upset that I put Malik Wills' number on the back. Uh, it's, it's just, it's just one of the, it's just one of those things. Don't forget to like, don't forget to sub, 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 subscribe because we need the likes. We need subscribes. We need a lot of things going on here, but you know what's about with the giants. I want to talk about here for a minute here. Not just a quarterback situation. We're still $20 million. We're $20 million in debt. We've talked about this before when I said the credit card bill is going to be due. It's one of those things that you keep taking your credit card and moving it to zero interest rate credit cards for 12 months. And then you keep thinking that 12 months is never going to show up. And I said it before, sooner or later, the chickens come home to roost. And they did for the Giants. They came home to roost big time. 
And I think that's what we need to that's what we need to take a look at right now. Oh no, we got the first one there. We got a two uh, super chat. He's dropping by the office to pay the proper respects for all giant fans around the world. Slip them stinky boys, losers out the door. And I hope that's what we do. Tuto, hope you're doing well. I, I, I didn't remember if you had a game or a match today. It is Sunday, and the Tuto Army is going to go over and roll over all the other rugby competitions. We should send Tuto some Black Rifle coffee because he looks like he could take the Black Rifle coffee. He looks like he could take the extra dark, extra bold, the way he's pumped up like me. Ah. I do like this jersey. I mean, this jersey rocks. <laughs> Thank you again, too, for the super chat. Don't worry, I know I want to emphasize how badly I want Malik Wells. We all want Malik Wells. We're going to have a couple special guests dropping by later today as well. It's going to be fun. We are going to give away an Eli Manning replica 2007 Super Bowl ring. Mike Wakefield won, Wakefield won the last one. He should get his ring on Monday. He disappeared for a while, but we found him. He came across. We got him. Ah, uh, let's see here. We are 20 million, negative 20 million cap, 33 players in the contract, 22 more. Leo Kenny Shep, 40% of the cap. How bad are we in the cap situation? Zach, I think I talked about this. <laughs> I might have mentioned it briefly in August of last year. And I was pontificating before the wonderful Tuto Super Chat. I, people are, someone asked me the other day. Uh, when someone else gives you a super chat, are you going to do, because you like have the two toe one, are you going to do like something for everyone that does it? Ah, I'll come on. I'm, I'm going to be like, what's his name? Uh, the guy from the Yankees that always makes up a home run call for everyone else. Get a super chat. You get your own super chat call. <laughs> but I said this back in August. You can't keep taking your credit card, moving on to interest-free credit cards. Sooner or later, later, you are going to run out of interest-free credit cards. Sooner or later, that's going to happen. And I like everyone says, well, the cap is a, a living, breathing thing. It fluctuates. No, it doesn't. Sooner or later, the money's all going to come into one pile. And then you have no more you have no more credit cards to transfer that debt to. And that's what happened to the Giants. When your own general manager comes out and says, yeah, it's bad. <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> Oh, my goodness, Grace. But we're going to get over it. And you're right. We have 33 players under contract. You need 22 more. And Zach, of course, we're not even talking about the rookie cap pool. And I kept warning people. People are like, no, no, we have like 3 million. We have, we're only negative 2 million. No, I was like, we're going to be negative 20 million. I've said it before. I can do math. I have a calculator. People just don't, people, when they do their capology things, they don't look at the rookie sa calories, the salary cap pool. They don't look at the money that had been moved out. They don't look at the performance bonuses. They don't look at the game bonuses. They don't look at anything else. They don't look at that extra bonus money from James Bradbury that was moved twice into this year. They don't look at that. We don't look at that. What's up, Alexis? Hi, the Bengals are going to win. I, you know, I, I wouldn't mind the Bengals win because I think Joe Burrows would be a great story, and all the a, the Daniel Jones lovers can just suck it because Burrows doesn't have an. When you get sacked nine times in a playoff game and you still win, <laughs> it's not always about the line. The Giants should just trade Shane Lemieux. I don't think who would want him. Who would want Shane Lemieux? Who? I mean, seriously. I mean, which I mean, I mean, is there? I mean, I mean, I'm not being facetious, but is there a team out there that wants to that wants Shane Lemieux? Because if there is, I, I'd like to send him to him immediately. Just get him out. Don't worry about me. I'm just doing something. <laughs> it's nothing dirty. <laughs> so, and of course, that's where my mind goes. I don't know where everyone else's mind goes. That's where my mind mind goes. I was just laughing because I thought about this. I was like, I just found Tuto's twin brother. <laughs> <laughs> it's Tuto's twin brother. Looks just like him. Uh, to the Eagles. Like, now we're never going to make a trade within the division. That's not going to happen. In the division is not going to work. I think a lot of heads are going to roll this season due to the cap. Yes, you predicted this. Thank you, Greg. Greg's all the way overseas. And he's like, you predicted this. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to drink some of that smooth taste of Black Rifle coffee. It's the only way to start your day. The only other way to start your day is at Poppycockers. 
Oh, oh my God. The bank will be calling. The bank will be. The bank is calling. The bank is calling right now for the Giants saying, excuse me, the bills are due. You're late. You need to pay them. I got to move my monitor. I hooked up my other soundboard and stuff here. So I got all these multiple soundboards for the radio show and the sound effects and everything. Just My whole desk is now all crapped up. Old desk is now crapped up. I think a lot of heads are going to roll this offseason to our cap. Yes, you predicted. Can you even sign our rookies right now? We can't sign. Anyway, we could sign them to future. Con- no, I should rephrase that. That is a lie. You can be you need to be under the cap at the start of the season, which is March 16th. You then need you can then go over the cap. But by the end of training camp, the rule of 51 is then excluded you are then responsible for the top 53 contracts of on your roster, and then you have to be under the cap again. But that's why the people are assigned to what they refer to as future contracts. The NFL does not have a soft cap or a luxury tax like CM. No, they don't. They really don't. And, th- and that's the problem we're going to run into. We got Big Dan coming in saying, Rams win, I think. Well, that's a definitive almost statement. <laughs> Come on, Dan. And I love your logo. Just say it. Rams, Bengals. Who are we calling? We're going to have a contest to give away the Super Bowl ring. I don't know what the contest is going to be yet, but we're going to have a contest. Can you stream for the Super Bowl? No, I'm not going to stream the Super Bowl. And the Giants rookie draft pool will set at an estimate $20 million. This team will actually need $12 million to make up the difference in signing their picks if they stay at the top five spots. Wow, I think I've been saying this too. You, It's great that we have two top 10 picks. It's awesome. But when you're in salary cap purgatory, when you turn around and then have to sign that rookie pool, we need to get out of the top. One of those picks needs to get out of the top 10. I uh, didn't make much. Just keep him. Oh, Shane Lemieux. We can keep Shane Lemieux. Can you stream the Super Bowl? No, I'm not going to stream the Super Bowl. Can I jump on? Do you want to jump on? <laughs> uh, you want to jump on? Sure. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, wait a minute here. If, if you want to jump on here, I'm going to, I'm going to put, the, I wasn't going to put the link out this early, <laughs> but if someone wants to jump on for a few minutes, I never say no. That's what she said. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Uh, besides the defense, oh, here we go. Besides they need players that fit the new scheme on defense. Here's the thing I think with defense here. And- and I've said this a million times before. I I have this feeling or and this philosophy that I don't think the wink is going to change what he does. I think the wink is going to just still attack. An attacking style defense, especially on the front line, is going to be an easier style to acclimate acclimate many players to because really all you're doing is attacking. You're just going straight forward. And a lot of times, what it's going to be with wink is that you're going to try to do five on seven maybe five on six. You're going to try to create the mismatches. You're going to drop in. You're going to bring in a safety. You're going to bring in a corner. You're going to, you're going to take, you're going to do the old days of your giants and you're going to blitz your two outside linebackers while you keep your middle confined with your middle guys. There's going to be many different things. I think we're going to do. And I I think it's going to be easier with this philosophy. And we do have some players that can attack. You got Roche, you got Ojolari. The problem with our higher paid salaries is Gettleman gave the guaranteed money, so we'll take the cap hit regardless. Yes, exactly. Now, now yes, that is that is yes, and that is no. There is a different cap number if you trade somebody. If there's a trade, there's a different cap number. So it depends. You will down that I will say this: the guaranteed money, yes, that will always stay. But some trades. If they're post June first, or actually won't be as bad, but yes, you'll still incur the dead cap space. How long do you think we'll take the Giants' big centers? Twenty twenty five, Frank. Said it before. Said it again. It's twenty. It's twenty twenty five, at best. Giant fan says, "I think we should re-sign Evan Ingram." I agree. I don't disagree about re-signing Evan Ingram. I've said it before. If we could get Evan back on a team friendly contract. But I think someone will give him money. But if we get him back on a team-friendly deal, I think at that point in time, because we don't have a tight end. Those that are relying on Caden Smith, you make my head hurt. Caden Smith is a third tight end at best that can sort of block and can get you six yards. 
They'll all point to the touchdown in the preseason game. I think I had a touchdown in a preseason game. I did throw a touchdown pass to the right corner of the end zone uh, two years ago before COVID when I was on the field after the game for the Giants. <laughs> it was fun. Uh, that's not a live picture behind him. The club is much. No, Dom, the club is. It's a club is. We got another two -ta! super chat. I'd be fine. I'd be fine. Suspended. Thrown out from the NFL for four games for being over aggressive. Pancakes, blocks, tackles, destroy. Ball carries all day long. I started watching the uh, uh, the show, The Reacher or Jack Reacher. I think it's on, it's on Amazon. And I love one scene in it because he's talking to this guy. And one guy played football, he played tight end at, uh, I, I forget, it was like Georgia. And the guy was looking up Jack Reacher. And he goes, you know, you only played one game in college for Army. Why? You couldn't cut it? And, he said, and they said, no. They suspended me for being too violent. <laughs> Just thought of Tuto when I saw it. <laughs> it's the violence. It's the violence. That's not a picture behind Tim. The club was much busier than that earlier. Mostly because Tim has brought... His posse. The posse's here. The gang is here. Tupto's here. Dan is here. Zach Attack is here. We're all running into the mix. I have a subject. All right. Well, what's your subject? I put the link out. Yeah, here we go. It's a big Dan. Ingram for cheap is ideal. Yeah, I still think problem with Ingram is I think someone's going to give him cash. I think someone like New England is going to see the potential for Ingram. And they're going to they're going to make it something that they're going to use him. And I get scared because you worry that they're going to use him properly. That they're going to use him properly. Because I don't think a lot of times the Giants use uh, Evan Ingram properly. Evan Ingram to me is not a tight end. He's what they refer to as in old days, but as an each back. He should be more in the wide receiver position. I will. I pointed out now three years ago that his blocking improved to adequate at the Chicago game. And he's, he does block adequately now, but it's not something that you would be like, Oh my God, that's just so wonderful. But he's a guy that can stretch the field. If he can hold on to the ball, he needs to work more on his concentration. That's what he needs to do. That's just me. <laughs> that's what I think. Uh, I think the D of Emphasis ends Leos and Roche and the nose with Dexter and Okora will be Ojolari and Coughlin and Delvin Lloyd. <laughs> Delvin Lloyd. Yo, Vinny G dropping by. Yo, Timbo looking sharp, brother. Nice jersey. It's the Malik Willis jersey. You can't see it, but it's the, like I said, my shoulders are too big. It's the number seven. It's not the Mel Hyam jersey. It's the Malik Willis jersey. Would uh, would Evan Ingram die? Goes to uh, drop it. Would would he ever come back? Honestly, I would say no. I would like to have him back, and this is why. Evan Ingram, Evan Ingram's been with this team for five years, has not sniffed any success. You've been in the league for so long, you want to win. You want to go to the playoffs. OBJ is dancing. Dancing for dollars at the Poppy Cockers. It's my second job. Oh, break it back. Oh, pop and lock. Uh, I got to pop and lock sometimes. You have to. And the day can draft a good linebacker. I, I keep telling you guys, I keep telling you, Devin Lloyd. Watch Devin Lloyd. Watch Devin Lloyd being now, it's all of a sudden, now that I've said it, Devin Lloyd will now suddenly be tasked to the Giants. Does he fit the Dable scheme? Yes, he does. He does fit the Dable scheme. The Dable scheme is, you know, you're you're gonna you're gonna have to you're gonna have to spread out the you're gonna have to spread it out a little bit. And he would fit perfectly. What is what we got here? Roche before Coughlin, but I see us drafting a defense. We do need to draft a defensive end. We do need to. That's the question. And you know what? Zach is on the googling. The Dahmer used to be the Googler. <laughs> Zach is my new favorite superhero. He's the Googler. I told Zach to look something up real quick. Post trading Leo June first would incur 8.3 in dead million. So over oh, that's over the cap, but that doesn't seem right in 2022. That, yeah, well, actually, Zach, it, it's um, like I said, there is a different 
formula used for non-guaranteed money when you trade. So yeah, that might be right. I have to, I have to look, I haven't, I don't have my spreadsheets anywhere. People, there's 50 people in this room. If you want to win a Super Bowl ring, you better like and subscribe. <laughs> I like just being threatening in my Malik Willis jersey. Our offensive coach staff never knew how to properly utilize the offense in, this, in our talent. I, I don't think it's that. I think, you know, I'm not going to get into Daniel Jones because it's a happy day. It's Super Bowl Sunday. But I think a lot of it is the fact that you don't have a quarterback and get the ball down the field. You have a quarterback that's gun shy. You have a quarterback that doesn't want to take the shot deep. That's what you got. Your wide receiver, our wide receiver coach came out and said, man, we may have misused Kenny a little bit. We didn't, we didn't throw to him probably when we should have. We didn't do those things we probably could have. What do we got here? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We got that one. What's what's Big Dan saying here? Lloyd would be a good pick. Empire City Sports. Let's go, Giants. He's got the 2007 Super Bowl champion hat. I have one of those hats somewhere around here. We got Al uh, dropping in. If Leo could free us 15 million this year, would you get rid of him? I would get rid of him. Yes. <laughs> but the problem is, Zach, I need you to Google this. What's Leo's dead cap number? What's his guaranteed dead cap number if the Giants get rid of him? Zach attack, Google that. Zach is now part of the show. <laughs> He's the Googler. I'm going to have a little, I'm going to bring, I'm going to give Zach a link and one day and I'm going to put him in like, he doesn't have to come out, put him in a little box and I'm going to call it the Googler. So this way, Zach will be able to do that. Yo, 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 what's up? What's up, my friend? What's up, brother? What you doing? It's Super Bowl Sunday at Poppy Cockers. We got a lot going on today. We're going to be giving away that big Super Bowl ring. We're also going to be having some special guests dropping by. So make sure you sit here because you know what? If you want to get your poppycocks, the best place to go is going to be poppycockers. Uh, see, it's better when I do it in the club. Okay, let's see. Okay, he says, I just got off those websites with a grain of salt. You got to take them with a grain of salt. The um, There's two websites, Zach. And I don't know what's the hold on. One does not. Uh, one does not make me want to vomit uh, because they they are they are pretty they're pretty good. I think it's a uh, what is it? Uh, I can't I can't find it now. It's like Spot Track, Sport Track, something like that. They are they're actually pretty consistent. What do people say? People say Engren can't catch. He can catch a cold. But I'm bum. Uh, let's just say you know he drops a pass and actually hits him on target. Jones can't hit anyone in stride. I hate when people say the receivers are bad when it's the quarterback. Yes, because in this league you need to throw your receivers open. You create your own passing window. I loved it at one point in time when people were saying there was only three and a half yards of separation between the receiver and the and the cornerback. Did you ever go on a football field? And see what three and a half yards is. Uh oh, we got we got a special guest dropping by, the, and he looks like he's driving. I normally don't do this when people drive, but you know what? We're gonna make an exception because it's the T Brad coming into the house. Mister T Brad, give me. Can, are you there? Oh no, T Brad. Well, there's no audio. There we go. There we go. Now we can hear you. T Brad coming into the house. We're live. We're live. Well, hopefully you're not hopefully, hopefully you're not driving because it's snowing here. I'm definitely driving. I'm definitely in the snow, but I'm in the south, man. So I'm going uh I'm in Delaware now. So oh, okay. I'm away from it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh I was definitely interested in who we could possibly trade and save some money and possibly get some picks. I think Bradbury's a pretty good a good option. But I, again, I don't know the cap money like you do, and what's dead and what's alive, and who still got to pay what. Well, the the you know Bradbury, I, I think if Bradbury Zach, go Google Bradbury's trade number. But um, I think Bradbury is going to be a casualty. I, I think Blake Martinez is going to be a casualty. The only concern I have with that is the fact that I've said it before. Even if you're saving seven, 
but you're getting picking up den, uh, 10 and dead cap space, you still have to replace that $17 million player with a player that's going to be making $7 million, which probably is not going to be on the same level. But I mean, it's, um, it's, it's going to be, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be bad. <laughs> General manager said it. <laughs> The, the we're going to we're going to have some tough ones. We're going to have some tough ones to make some decisions on anyway, you know, and maybe you get a young guy who could come in there and perform. Maybe a sauce gardener, but again, you got to go first round for him. Well, that's but, the thing. And, and that's 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 the problem now. I mean, but my thing is this and and I'm curious what your thoughts are. You have someone like the smooth sounds of Kenny G. He's got a huge uh, cap number. He he's he is gonna and he did not have what I would have referred to as a wonderful year considering he had one touchdown pass. <laughs> no, no touchdowns. I'm sorry. I mean, can zero. zero zero. I mean, do you as a fan? I hated the signing. I thought I, I was disgusted by the signing. I said you, you, we were competing against ourselves to give this guy this when Corey Davis set the market at 36 million and we doubled that. I mean, what are your thoughts? I mean, do you want him back? Do you want to? Do you want to take him and put him in the back of your car and send him over to Delaware? I mean, what do you want to do? Hey, if, unfortunately, I don't. I can't get him. I can't get to him to get him in the car. But um, I, <laughs> to be honest, last year I really wanted uh, the guy from Tennessee that the Jets got, Corey uh, Davis. Yes, that's who I wanted. I uh, thought he'd be a little cheaper upside, but we went out and got an injured wide receiver, fresh off an injury. Yep. fresh off the hip injury, and say, hey, we're going to give you all this money we didn't want to pay Odell Beckham yep. because Odell Beckham was on a boat. Yep. I didn't understand the, the philosophy of that. It didn't make any sense. But it got to a point, and I think we're still at this point for some reason, that we're trying to justify old picks. You know what I mean? We're trying to justify some bad picks, some bad moves. It, it's time to just chop it all up. Like, Kenny G... You, I, there's no reason you can make that amount of money, not play, not have availability, and when you are available, you get zero touchdowns. Yeah, I mean, I, just, I think I think some people think that he did not fit into the philosophy. We had a, we had a great one here from uh, uh, from Vinny G said our number one wide receiver was Andrew Thomas, who had more touchdowns than Kenny. <laughs> I mean, I, yep. I, I mean that 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 is that that is an issue. If you were T. Brad, if you were the Giants' general manager, you oh, are, you are you are now sitting in the Shane seat. Oh, love what, it. Is, what is? And I'm going to put you on the spot here. Even I shouldn't do this because you're driving. What's I love gonna, it. What's going to be your? What if you were the Shane? You're sitting in the general manager seat. What's your first? What is the first thing you're going to do? When you when when that clock starts on March 16th for the start of next season for the for the start of next off start of the season coming up, I'm I'm literally fielding all calls. I you, you don't know what's out there, you don't know what's available. I'm fielding all calls. Uh, anything to dump high money and, and and terrible talent, I'm interested. Right. You know, uh, if we can get Kenny G out of here, I'm interested. I hate to say this because I love him as a player. Saquon Barkley, he could be traded. I don't personally want to, but right. I'm listening to everything. Person, and you know me, you got me on the Malik Willis Express, and we need something dynamic. If we can get Willis at five, I'm willing to trade seven for just about anything reasonable. One for the money, because you know the kind of money Willis is going to make, yep. and two to get more pieces because the one draft I hate more so than anyone is the one that we had so many picks and we traded up to get uh, DeAndre Baker and all these other guys and I just think that draft was handled bad because we had so many pieces to put in right. but uh, yeah I'm feel, I'm feeling all calls but if it's a not Malik Willis I get off my fanboy for a little bit and I'm trying to secure my job maybe I get an offensive lineman uh, no it's not no maybe I'm definitely getting an offensive lineman in case maybe Hutchinson slips, I'm getting an offensive lineman at five. Then I'm trading out at seven, getting back either Dean, uh, Lloyd, or Sauce Gardner. Those those are the picks for me in the first round. Well, that's and a, I really got, I really got a young man crush on uh, the Penn State linebacker Brandon Smith. When we yeah, got Wink, I actually have a video coming up on him next week. Yeah, when we got Wink, I said he fits perfectly. Now, does he fit perfect better, or does Devin Lloyd? 
Now I know everyone wow. talks about everyone talks about Dean, and I keep saying this: Dean is raw. Dean is gonna. Dean is gonna. In my eyes, is gonna take some time. Now, the two gentlemen that you just mentioned, I think both of them can maybe start immediately. But if you right. only choose one between, well, here's Not the Dean. thing: I I would pick Lloyd first and Hope Smith drops. Okay. Because when you get to the point, when you get to that point, I look at it like fantasy football, which I play a ton of. You, you start saying, I like both these guys. Who has a more probability to drop? Who's going to drop? This guy definitely ain't going to drop. That's the one I take and cross my fingers and hope the other one's there next round. I, I think that's, you know, I think that's a good philosophy. Big Dan coming in saying, no worries. We'll be taking Malik. The Giants want and need to make a statement. They need to have it because if we pass, we'll regret it badly. He is the next Vic. I have been saying Malik Willis is Vic Ultralight. I'm not calling him Michael Vic because Michael Vic did things that people never saw before at that point in time. And I, and I know I, I, I you know I know you are just as much into the Malik Willis opportunity that I am. But if the Giants do not get Malik and the Giants go quarterback this draft, who does the T Brad want it to be? If it's not Malik Willis, if it's and not it's the Malik first Willis. round, it, no, it's it, it, the it, first it, round. It, no, the, it's let's say the Giants pick. Uh, let's say they take, you know, let's say they take Lloyd, and and let's say they, you know, they take somebody else at at seven. Who do you want to? Who do you wow. want to bring in? Who would wow. the Giants? Who would be? Who would be the heir apparent? We we have to get one. So I would say probably Sam Howell. Why? The only reason is, I'll tell you why. The only okay. reason is, Kenny Pickett, I like better as a quarterback, but the hand thing, that scares me now. I'm a little bit scared. He doesn't have big Strong, he doesn't have hands like this. <laughs> yeah. Carson Strong, he's, he's got the knee injury. He's got a little bit of problem. Desmond Ritter, I'm just too nervous on Desmond Ritter. And at least I have seen Sam Howell in 2020. Like, a lot of people are down on, down on Sam Howe because of 2021. But if you go look at 2020 Sam Howe, when he had weapons, he wasn't bad. Well, that's, and, and, but that's the same thing you could say about Malik Willis to all the haters. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Malik had a top you, 20 if you remember, If you remember, I liked Kenny Pickett more in the beginning. You're you like, did. oh, you got to get with you Willis. Did. You got to get with Willis. And I said, you know what? Let me go back and watch some more Willis. And I watched more 2020. And I said, oh, this is a little bit different than what I see in 2021. Because quarterbacks are judged so much by numbers and things like that. But nobody really cares when quarterbacks start losing talent. They still expect you to play at the we level still they expect see you to win. We have, yeah. we have someone else who wants to drop in and say hello to the T-Brad. Hold on. So we got another person dropping in wanting to say hello. Oh, my goodness. Who is it? One another. Is the that- Duke of Funk. It's Dahmer. Yes. He's, he's sitting there in the Hobbit Holly because of the fact that it's so damn dark where he lives. Evidently, there's no lights in London. It's, it's pouring down with rain, but don't worry. Your special it's snowing table, here, big your whiner. Special, your special table is all ready for you straight after the stream. Champagne room all set up. All the special requests will be taken care of. Yes, oh my yes that's what I'm talking about. I, I have no idea. I have no idea what you're talking about, Dom, because you want to know why? Because when you're talking to Dom, there's only one place to go. It's the only place to go get your poppy cocked. It's going to be at Poppy Cockers, the number one in adult entertainment on the West End. If you're looking to get your poppy cocked, the only place to go is the Poppy Cockers. That's for you, Dom. <laughs> Absolutely. Dom, you have a proper drinks? You have a proper drinks already? No, a cup of tea at the moment. Proper drinks in a couple yeah, of hours. No, got no, got no proper drinks. No, I was no proper say, drinks. Got, got to do some work tonight. Time? Uh, yep, yep, four o'clock. I've got, I've got to work to do tonight, unfortunately. So uh, probably proper drinks are not going to happen. But how, 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 you guys doing? No. how are you guys doing anyway? We're doing good. Do you have good. a question for the T-Brand? Uh, yeah, yeah. I was going to ask him what, what, what he would do. Uh, so... Uh, you kind of covered it already, but if uh, it, 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 who would you most uh, like to keep on the Giants uh, out of out of all the players? Like lots of players have been discussed as possible trades, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. A lot of them unrealistic, but 
Who 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 would you not trade? Who's your one untradeable? Wow, uh, that that's pretty. That, with with offensive line being what it is, I say Andrew Thomas. <laughs> There, there are very few. There, are, I don't think there are any untradeables, but there are very few players where you'd be like, "Yeah, this is an integral part of the future," right? Well, it's it's, right. it's Andrew Thomas and fifty two. <laughs> that's I mean, that's what it is. Because I I'm the same way. I mean, there's no I outside of Andrew Thomas, I probably would put everyone up. McKinney. I would trade McKinney. Not that I don't think he's not going to be a good player, but if the I mean, I know I'm going to be bad for two three years. If I can get assets. And then if I can get it, maybe a second rounder and convert that into another first rounder and pick someone up like Kyle Hamilton later. I know people think he's going to go so early, but we said it before positional value. You can't look at a safety that high. There's only one safety that went in the top 10 in the last 11 seasons. And he's playing tonight in a he's playing, big yeah. game. If I remember rightly, something going on. There. Something. going. On. I'm, I'm, that's what I heard. <laughs> but but uh, T. Brad, I'm going to let you drop off here for a second. I'm going to talk to the Dahmer. Also, I want you to pay attention when you're driving. <laughs> yeah, drive safe, man. You're making me oh, worry. I'm good. Man. I'm good, brother. I appreciate you. Y'all you're take care, it. man. It's good being you're here. Worry. All right, day. T. Brad, stay safe on the road, my friend. All right. Whoops. Dom, I didn't mean to cut you out there. I can say <laughs> it. I get, what did I do this time? That time I did not mean to cut out the Dahmer. I did not mean why trade him. I was just saying, Dan, that if you asked me if I could get something for a value for Xavier McKinney, and if it's like a first or a second round pick, if you don't think about trading him, then you're not building for you got to build. We got to build for the future. That's what it is. I, building for the future. I'd even argue that if you got the right value for Thomas, you trade him. Uh, well, often you know, left tackle. The problem, the problem is you need more than a first because you need to go. Back yeah, and you him. need to go. You need to replace your only left tackle. You have Mr. Alvarez says your line can get in the later rounds. Players like Creed Humphreys, Orlando Brown Jr., Trey Smith weren't first rounders, so you can find the talent. You're yeah, I mean the talent is there. I wanted to trade for Orlando Orlando Brown Jr. Of course, but he went over to the KC. I mean, but the the, it, the talent is there. You'd have given up our first rounder last year for him, right? I would have given up the first round, and I would have given up one of the first round picks for Orlando Brown Jr. I would have. And people are going to be like, well, you're crazy because they didn't give it. They give up a second and a whole bunch of other picks. But I would go, he's talented. You had book, you would then have bookend book tackles. tackles. You would have bookend tackles. And he was still on his rookie deal this year. He was still making like 600,000. So we could have, you know, we could have squeezed him into the cap. If, and I am saying if here, if I were to use one of those fifth or seventh picks on a offensive lineman, I'm taking a tackle to get bookend tackles. That's right. that, that I'm not taking a guard. I'm not taking a center. No. Challenge as Linda Baum looks. The only only offensive lineman I drive I I get with one of those two picks is is, is a tackle. Yeah, and that's why, as I say, I don't think Thomas is untradeable. But you're going to need uh, absolute king's ransom to get him because to you're going to need to use your first to get another. Plus, we're going to have we're going to have the dead cat money. Peppers, Vinny G comes in. Peppers is gone, but it'd be a good fit in Wink Scheme. We did a video on that Vinny G. That to me, Peppers would fit perfectly. Because you need an in the box safety that can play quasi linebacker strong safety, and you got to keep uh, you got to keep Xavier McKinney in the free safety role. I think it was two years ago McKinney played something unrealistically like sixty seven percent of his snaps in the box. So I mean, yeah, I, I would def I would definitely want to keep him. I mean, would you, I, would you want to bring back Peppers, Dom? I, I think if you can, yeah, I think there's three, maybe four that you'd look to bring back. Most of them on team friendly deals i mean obviously you're going to take peppers on a team friendly deal but you're going to have to pay peppers to get him back yeah well he's coming off the acl so i mean yeah i think that will try might scare deal. some people away yeah yeah I, I, I agree on that and you know we we you've seen the likes of carter and barkley only really start to come back in the last few games of right. this of the season from those big injuries you'd expect peppers uh to, to sort of have similar i like this one by jeff poppy everybody right, knows that's what was making and there. Always glad you came. <laughs> oh, damn it. Cheers, right? Cheers. The cheers to that. So you know what we're gonna do for we you know you know what we're gonna do for the big you know what we're gonna do for the big Jack Jeff. Jeff just got his poppy cocked. I just got my poppy cocked at poppy cockers. Jeff is the first one to drop in the new overlay. I got my poppy cocked at poppy cockers. Big Jeff coming up with a good comment. <laughs> That, that 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 made me smile as soon as I saw it coming up. Yeah, I saw that too. I was I was trying not to get to it as quickly. That's what she said. Don't give up a franchise left tackle. They're too hard for us to find. Yeah, we're not going to give up a franchise. No, we're not. My, my point was nobody on this team is untradeable if you get no. the right value. You know, you're looking at 
value that Thomas probably isn't going to attract to, to get rid of him for, to make me trade. Um, you, you know, but my point being, no one, no one, when you're in the middle of a rebuild, is un, is untradeable. Yeah, yeah, no one at this point in time. Charles, this is another good one. I like this one. Charles Cross and a trade down would be nice. Would you trade down for Charles Cross? Uh, I think if it, I mean I don't trade down for him, I trade down, and if he's there, then I consider taking him. Where, it can, but it depends on what's on the board, um, and depends on how far you try try uh, trade down to. I've I've done a little bit, seen a little bit on Cross. Um, not saying he's he, he's a finished article, but I, I liked a lot of what I saw so far. But I'm certainly not using five or seven for Cross. Uh, hold on one second, Tom. I got to send you a message. Um, uh, here we go. Where are you at? Where are you at? You said uh, you sending me a message. Yeah. There you go. Did you I get got it? it. Yeah. Right. It says my name. Hold on. This is this is quality quality entertainment, by the way. Ah, uh, thank you. You are One welcome. Second. I would turn that camera off for a second. Dom's got to drop off. Dom has to go to the Louvre. Dom needs to take a tinkle break. As long as you're Dom. not using the coffee mug. <laughs> Dom. Sorted. Oh my god. Zach Attack here. You didn't probably know this, but Zach Attack is now part of the show. Our cap hit is just with number five pick is six million with the rule of fifty one. The total cap number for seven pick is four million four point nine million. With the rule of fifty one, the total cap hit is eleven million dollars. Can we get Zach on to do Google? <laughs> Zach is Zach is not part of the show. He just doesn't know. I just made him officially. <laughs> I just he's officially not part of the show. I told you I'm gonna have a little. I'm gonna have a little um, like a little icon on the bottom when Zach's in the room. It's gonna be flashing saying Zach attack, Zach attack, the Googler. Uh, Spin Max Dave says we ignored the O line way too long. Must upgrade it this year with one of the best ones out there. I don't think we have. I don't think we ignored the O line. We've drafted a lot of O linemen in the last we just got it years. Wrong a heck of a lot. Just got it. Swing and a miss. <laughs> just... By the way, is the Googler like the Wriggler's arch enemy or something? <laughs> the Googler. <laughs> and people always go to me, it's not the Riddler. It's not his name. I, we, we and know. I know. I get it. It's a joke. <laughs> it's a pun. It's like a pun. <laughs> Admittedly, we're not that funny, but in our world, it is a joke. <laughs> oh my God. YouTube, YouTube, uh, Twitter blew up. Because I posted my Malik Willis jersey, and people are like, that number's retired. I said, yes, I know. Mel Hine is retired in 31 to 41. Yeah, I, I understand that. And I jokingly said, well, don't worry, because I'm in negotiations right now with the family to have Malik Willis wear the number. People are like, why would you contact the family about letting Malik Willis have the number? I'm like, oh, my God. The frig is wrong with people? It's a joke. I'm, right, I'm going to clear this up right now. I'm going to clear this up right now. I'm going to clear this up right now. That was a joke. Poppy Cockers is not real. And there is a Santa. Okay? I'm just going to clear that up for people. Uh, so what are we going to say, Dom? Hold on. I don't have time to hold on. I'm in the middle of a show. I can't see it. Sarcasm. We're going to need a sarcasm button. But you're right, like a four-year-old. <laughs> Your penmanship is worse than mine. Do you know what? That is even my best writing. <laughs> People always go to me. You should be a doctor because I can't read anything you say, anything you write. Uh, what does Big Mike got to say here? Mike, Judge and Jones bottled up, afraid to throw. Like Parcells, just keep throwing it. Guess what he told Phil Sims in '86? Just keep chucking it. I don't care. After during the Minnesota game, I don't care if you throw four interceptions. Just go out and throw the damn ball deep. And I think Jones has just become. I think he's just become gun shy, Zach. I mean, Zach. <laughs> I'm thinking about Zach looking at Dom because you know what? Zach is now a bigger part of the show than Dom. He knows how to Google. He can Google. I mean, Zach can Google. I mean, Watch it. Zach, Google. What time is it? Uh, 16 13. Don't need to Google it. It's on my clock in the corner. 16 13, really, Dom? What are you making up time now? 16? There's no 16. This is America. It's 11 14 in the AM. You still have to address the offensive line. The Cowboys and the Colts only were built in more than one draft. Just one draft isn't going to fix all problems. Dom, if we're going to fix an offensive line problem, we're going to fix this problem right now. You and I are going to fix the offensive line problem right now. We figured out how to fix global warming. Everyone just opens their windows and turns on the air conditions. Cancer's getting close. Cancer's getting close. We're working on the cancer. We, we got a lot of we got a lot of we got a lot of irons in the fire. Is there is besides Andrew Thomas? Is there a guy on the Giants' offensive line that's worth saving? 
uh, depending on how he comes back from injury gate, um, I think you don't fix your offensive line in in, in, in one year. Um, partly because you don't know where Gates is at, so you've got three starters you need to replace right now. If you draft them all this year, that is an inexperienced line, plus they're all going to be out of contract all roughly at the same time. So I think you, if you're going to fix it through the draft, you fix it over a couple of years. I think you take stopgap uh, people in it, 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 for this year. Whether that's you bring back Pert as your swing tackle and give him another go, whether you, you keep some of the guys that are there now sort of as backups or just as starters for one year to see how they go. I think I think that's a way, but I, I would probably be looking to take a couple of of offensive linemen in the draft, just not certainly not with both first rounders. Uh and I wouldn't be using five or seven for for a for a lineman. I'd be trading back and potentially taking one there. Uh but I'd be looking second, third round for your for your centre. Uh move gates to guard um and see how it goes from there. But I, I, I think you just have to do it over a couple of years. You you don't do it all in one go. And that goes for the rest of the team, right? You can't fix everything in one hit. No, you can't, you can't fix all you can't fix it all at once. I uh, what's his name? Uh is it Kyle Murphy? Is it is it Kyle Murphy? I got I don't I he um he went on the injured reserve. He's out of um he's out of some small school. Spiders is the name of it. Um Rhode Island. He got, I, I think he's a guy you need to just, he's on he's been on the injured reserve most of the year. I think that's someone we need to look at in, in reference to the offensive line, but well, but I'm not bringing a lot of guys coming back. I I'm not I'm not feeling any of them outside of outside of our old buddy Andrew Thomas. Ooh, Royal Money Entertainment. What, was- what, what, what about what about Gates? I mean, you don't know what he's coming back injury wise, but <sighs> assuming he comes back. Listen, this 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 guy is not even making a point to say anything in regards to coming back. He's he's not saying I'm definitely going to be back, and that 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 concerns me. As a professional athlete, or even as a college athlete, and I can tell you, coming back from major injuries, you you sometimes you make that declaration. I'm coming back. I'm fine. I'm going to be back, and it may be a lie. It's a state of mind. It's a state of mind, but this guy's not even. This guy's like, well, if I come back, I come back, you know. And you know, we'll ha- he's basically taking the let's see approach, which is nothing wrong about it with that. But it's like I said, it just it just concerns me a little that he's not definitively saying, you know, what, I'm coming back. Especially with the with that injury being, you know, and he might be might might be trying not to give himself false hope with the big injury, but but I, you know. People say when uh, it's a slightly different issue. Well, kind of is the same issue. Once you start talking about retirement, you're already retired. You've already retired. You've already quit. Um, so, you know, I'm not convinced that Gates will make it back. But if if he were to come back and were to be fit, I'd certainly give him another go. But oh, yeah. I think you I think you're going to have to bring back one, you know, a, um, a couple of them potentially just just to fill in your numbers um, and then you can get a trade pick trade value for them um, because you don't fix it all in one go. But need- one or two, one or two new pieces could seriously um, upgrade this offensive line. To be fair, that's not hard. But right, that's what she said. That's what she said. Zach said it was eleven fourteen when he was the Googler. See, Zach knows how to Google, Dom. Okay, he he knows how to Google. He knows how to Google. Let's see. Mike says Shane. To be fair, I can't I can't come back on that because I'm really am slow at it. Oh, uh, Shane had nothing to do with the cap. Get a clue. Yeah, no. Sh- okay, we got a clue, Mike. You want to be facetious, like you can sit in time out too. We uh, we know he has nothing to do with the cap. He's got to fix it now. He's got to fix the cap. He has come out and said the cap is effed. He's come out and said that. I don't like Mike's comment. (laughs) Mike's comment just aggravated me. Unless it was aimed at something else, someone said in the chat. I don't know, Mike. You better apologize for that comment because I don't (laughs) like. But he he, he's in the same situation Gettleman was when he came in, and unfortunately Gettleman took us full circle. Right. Uh, But I like what Shane has said that I want to go and create the cap, and that's going to be it is going to be unpleasant. It is going to be uncomfortable. Shane is going to be good players. It's going to have to go. Tough decisions are going to have to be made, and Shane has a lot to do with the cap. Just because just because you hired a capologist, I I want to break this news to some people. The general manager is still involved in the cap. Oh, basically, basically, and, and correct me if I'm wrong. General manager says, "I want to give yes. this contract. Uh, how can I make it work to the capologist?" I have to say, "No, you means. can't." Or this is how you do it, and it means we have to bump that contract down the road. That bump yes, down the road. thank That's you. How it works. They That's find a way works. to make it work. Not, not, not the capologist says you've got this much money. You can only spend this much. Right. Uh, I'm He's- sure that information will be given. But once a general that's manager, what happened decision, that's what with free agency this year. Gettleman went to the capologist and said, we need, we are signing these guys, make it happen. A good capologist will tell you, no, we can't do this. That's why 
Kevin Abrams has put us in cap hell twice in less than seven years. But ultimately, it's not the capologist's call. Once a GM no, it's the general manager. manager's call. You know, but do you see a way that you can get to the numbers that Shane's talking about without Bradbury and Martinez and a couple of others going? There's no way. It has to be both of them, right? I like this because Mike's about to get banned. How many rings does Michael Vick have? How many rings does Dan Marino have? <laughs> I think Brett Favre's got one. I think Aaron Rodgers, greatest quarterback of all time, has one. Nick Foles has one. Nick Foles, Nick, has, one. Nick Foles has one. Brad Johnson has one. <laughs> Trent Dilfer has one. It's all about it's all about what time you get in and where you're at. That's what it's all about. This, this might be controversial, but but Jones, uh, not Jones. Uh, was it Brad, uh, Brady is the best quarterback of all time because he has so many rings. But I wouldn't. I, he's, I don't think he was ever the most talented quarterback of all time, if I'm honest. There are far more talented quarterbacks than, than Brady, but the man's won more Super Bowls than anyone else. Exactly. And I, by the way, I'm not saying he's a bad quarterback. Of course. No, he's not. He's not a bad. He's not a bad quarterback. He's not bad. He's not terrible. You know what's going to happen, Dom? If you're reading these comments, you know what's going to happen right now. Mike, hate to do it to you, pal, but get nothing. You lose if you Good don't play answer. nice with others. Just remember that. Who runs this bitch? <laughs> Me. <laughs> Went car shopping with my wife yesterday. And when I was looking at it, I was looking at a smaller car, like a smaller car. I have a huge truck. I mean, I, I mean, I got a huge ass truck. And I'm looking at these. I'm looking at a smaller car. And my wife goes, my husband doesn't drive this. <laughs> he doesn't drive this. She goes, my man does not drive this. <laughs> she goes, that is not you. <laughs> And then she saw this huge, like, F-150. She goes, that's what you drive. <laughs> I was like, wow. It's like, I'm not, <laughs> sure. I'm not sure if I should be offended. <laughs> but then I'm like, yeah, that's what I drive now. And then she goes to the guy. She goes, you're like, a, it's like she goes, like, it's, you, you, you feel like a, you look like a soccer mom. <laughs> And then the, then the salesman is getting into it going, does this make you feel less like a soccer mom? Now? At least he was rolling with it. Oh, my God. Did she give herself a pet talk before she went car shopping? Because she was sassy. Don't, talk, don't, go car shop, don't go car shopping with Mrs. Online, Big Blue Man. Oh, Chew you up and spit you out. She learned from the best. You know what, even, she even tell people, she goes, I've learned from the best how to go car shopping from my husband. She goes, I used to hate going car shopping with you because I would think you're an asshole. I was like, well, I am. So that's okay. She goes, no, but you play the game so wonderfully. <laughs> she goes, I've learned now that you're just being a hard ass because you want to get the deal that you want to get. I'm saying, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you have to. You have to. You know, otherwise you're going to pay. You know, you don't ever pay the list price, right? Yeah. No, you never play the list price. What the hell's list price? I always have equity in my leases. It's a two to super chat. We have been on a winning streak because we've been, don't believe in the off season, the off days. We've been working hard, grinding daily to surpass all expectations with dominance. And you know what? That's the philosophy I want the Giants to have. I, I mean, honestly, I, that, I just want to win a couple of games. But you, I, no, but I think that is a philo I think that should be a philosophy with this team that there are no off days. There are no, there are no excuses why we didn't do this and why we do Cause I hear a lot of excuses for last season still. In the year before that, you hear a lot of excuses, not from the team, but a lot of times from the fan base. I'd point and you I, to the Titans. I'd point you to the Ravens. I'd point yeah, <laughs> there, there's so many things that you can point to. And I think Tuto's right. You know, and there, there should be no, even with fans to me, there should be no off day. In, in reference to this team, we should believe in them. We should believe in what they're doing, but we should also understand the limitations. I've said it before. The, 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 there is, there is uh, you know, Judge used to talk about culture. Now, I think he's right to talk about culture. Culture is important. What that culture has to transpire to is progress and winning. And that's where the issue was. It's not that not the fact he was talking about culture. It was it was what it was leading to. His right. culture was his culture was done. But you do need a culture. You do need a mentality. You do need a sense of team spirit or it's going to be much harder to win games. But he wasn't the man to provide it. Just, you know, I'm not just going on a judge, but. It, you need all of that stuff. It, it is right. Um, but there you go. 
Dom, I just noticed something here, and I'm trying to fix this here so you can see it real quick. There's a big hole in the strip club right here. Can 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 I, don't, I, I had to take you off the screen for a minute. Can you fix that big hole right there, Dom? Which where 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 am I, where am I looking? You can't, you, can't, you can't see it in the ceiling right here. Like all the oh, in the ceiling. Oh, in the ceiling. Yeah, the I think that's a mirror. Man. That's a mirror, isn't it? It's a mirror. No, that's that's a that's a hole. That's no mirror. That's a hole. Fix that. I can see oh, where I can see where the uh, the asbestos should be. <laughs> I, I just took that for a mirror in the ceiling. No, no, no. Keep, fix the hole in the ceiling. Chardonnay down. looks like to look at herself when she's fix, on fix the, the hole. Fix the hole in the ceiling. I'll get it sorted. Matt from Connecticut has potential. Wouldn't give up on. Him. Would you give up on Matt from Connecticut? I am. He was a project pick. Um, you no, know, he, he was. was listen, to, listen to all the Giant fans when we draft him. He was going to be the second coming out of Connecticut. <laughs> he was a project pick. Um, we all know it. <laughs> no, no. Um, now but, we do. One person knew it. Um, hey, Tom, who knew it? Say it. Me. Who said three to four years? <laughs> me? No. <laughs> okay. It wasn't me. Uh, well, actually, it was, but I didn't say it first. Um, but, yeah, so have I given up? Yeah. No. Um, but he was terrible last year when he was on, but so was the whole line. Um, you know, uh, but, uh, so have I fully given up? No, but he's, he, he's on a much shorter lease now as he goes into year three. Yeah. Yeah. He Corey, starts seeing some improvement and that's, that's the worry. We're not seeing improvement. Corey Cunningham, this has been the topic of conversation for some people. Do you, do you know how good Corey Cunningham is? Because he's concerning, we worked his way to the starting right tackle with the Patriots, and yet Joe Judge will never use him. It's it's a player or is the coaching? I think Corey Cunningham, I think he's a free agent. Um, I'm but just I, checking it now. I think I, he is as well. Zach, Corey Cunningham, free agent, go. <laughs> go, let's see you go. No, it's not easy to bloody kite with you. <laughs> <laughs> Dom, you can't handle the stress? No, it's like a pressure round. Here, here's, here's what I hear when Dom talks. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep playing sound effects until Dom gets it. Welcome to the party, pal. <laughs> you need to uh. look at me so you can point your fucking fingers and say that's the bad guy. That phrase is trademark not to use that position, Ricky Bobby. Oh my goodness, Dom. <laughs> Dom. Dom, are you there, Dom? <laughs> Yeah, I can find Zach. Corey Cunningham is American football offensive tackle with the Giants. Under con he is under contract. There you go. I, I can <laughs> I can find Zach coming up. That's how, that's how well he's you know on Google. You know, he, 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 I love I love the mod to it's uh, a computer and a turtle. <laughs> it's a hamster and he's very the mod there. is the mod has never met the Dahmer. <laughs> Oh, and even if, they know. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. Do you know what was funny? It's like, stop coming up with Zach Cunningham. I don't want Zach Cunningham. I want Corey Cunningham. Stop it, Google. <laughs> Super Bowl party at Poppy Goggers. Of course we're at Poppy oh, Goggers, Green. It's very late, the Super Bowl. It's, it's, very late, it's very late at Poppy Goggers. And you know what? We're going to have to do it for Kareem because he's one of my favorite people in the whole wide world. Kareem, this is for you. You just got your poppy cocked at Poppy Cockers, the number one adult entertainment in the West End. If you're looking to get your poppy cocking, looking for cocker dollars, and you're looking to have two for one elf night, there's no better place to go but Poppy Cockers. I have Corey Cunningham as a free agent. Uh, just we're sure looking at Zach Cunningham. No, I found Corey Cunningham finally. It's finally let me check it out. <laughs> it's Google time. It's it's Google time with Dom. <laughs> I, I'm going to blame it on the UK internet being slow. <laughs> God bless brother Nick Gates. Nick Gates, I hope Nick Gates is, I hope Nick Gates finds his way home. I hope that, that he had a horrific break. I mean, that's not, I mean, that's, you you felt bad for the guy because he, he, you know, he came in, he filled in for center at center. I think he played well at times at center, but I don't think that was his natural position. He finally got over to his natural position. What does he do? He breaks his leg. I mean, that's just, that's just, I mean, that's just bad. It's time to reflect. Was the O-line players bad or was it coaching they had received that was bad? But the problem is they've had a bunch of O-line coaches. And and I and I honestly, I honestly think, Dom, that they were just bad. I think Shane, so. Shane Lemieux, for all, for all of his wonderful attributes, can run block. He can't pass block. 
Matt from Connecticut can't do either. Will Hernandez played well his rookie season, dropped exponentially three years later. Billy Price. <laughs> Billy Price. God bless his soul. That's all we're going to say about Billy Price. I Nate, know what? I was waiting for you to get to Billy Price. <laughs> Nate Solder. I watched him block a guy backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Nate, Nate Solder, the, the only tackle, the only tackle in the NFL that refers going backwards to forwards. I, I literally could just turn around in my chair right now and I could be Nate Solder blocking. <laughs> I, I want to do a show backwards like Nate did. I mean, it, they were, it's just, it was a collection of bad talent. Do you know what? I, 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 th I think that is right. But, uh, and there were, there was a little bit. It, do you know what's worse? The O-line wasn't as bad as I expected it to be this year. And it was still bad. But you know what? That's that's a great point. I I, I didn't expect I I was I'm at the same way. I I I was shocked that they, I wasn't shocked that they were bad. I was shocked that they weren't as bad as I thought they were gonna be. And I think a lot of it had to do with, a lot of it had to do with a quarterback holding on to the ball too long. Yeah, but I was going to say the improvement as well in the O-line probably did come from the fact that it was coaching. Because it probably it, coached it, them it, up. It, now, look, we had really low expectations, but when it does perform, so it probably was always going to perform slightly better, but it performed a lot better than a lot of people thought it would, still bad. And that probably does point to the coaching improved it, and it did get better by and large throughout the year. Mr. Vance coming in with Supertime Halftime Performance, Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre, Eminem, Kendrick Lamar. And the lovely Mary J. Blige. I'll be watching Super Bowl halftime show. I don't watch usually, but that is those are those are people that I enjoy <laughs> and listen to. Question for you, Dom: Is Poppy Cockers taking reservations for Valentine's Day? Well, Super Bowl is on Valentine's Day uh, by the time it kicks off over here. Um, so you know, I'm pretty sure it's such a late kickoff tonight that it will be Valentine's Isn't it like Day. Six something? What times, uh, Zach? What time does Super Bowl kick off? I would have Dom Google it, but we only have a couple hours. Oh, I got, <laughs> I, I've now got distracted by the football because uh, our big rivals just lost, which is great news. Oh, my goodness. Zach comes out and says, I hope hey, it just, kick, just about kicks off our, uh, today, so 2330. I love this one. Is my hobbit welcome a poppycockers now? Speaking for all hobbits out there? Yes, indeed. <laughs> Do you know uh, what? Do you know what? I, I was actually at work in person on Thursday for the first time in a very long time. And people were like, oh, my God, you're so much shorter than I thought you were. You look so much taller when I see you on screen. Like, That's because I'm sitting so down in the, on the internet. I was like, I was like, I've always said I'm just over five foot. I am very, very small. Like, we thought that was a joke. It was like, nah, <laughs> I really am that small. Um, the problem is I still can't get through doors because I have a massive ego. Well, that's me. Oh, my but God. Yeah, compared to you, I have a tiny, tiny ego. <laughs> it feels like both some linemen were bad and coaching did not favor them. I I honestly think, you know what's funny? And, and the O-line got worse when Jason Garrett left. <laughs> I'm just throwing that out there. I'm just throwing that out there. Uh, Zach says kickoff is at 630. Yeah, it's so, just 11. It's what I just said. It's just about. So it's not on there. Valentine's Day. Uh, most of the game is. And I I did already beat Zach to it for one. And you can't. Is, you, you, Zach, you didn't beat yeah, Zach. To it. He came in at 1131. I'm just slow getting to him like you're Googling. Uh, no, no. But listen, it's Zach 33, Dom 1 on Google. Because <laughs> I knew where to find this one. It's Zach 497, Dom <laughs> yeah. 3. Oh, I was just talking about the last 20 minutes. Oh, the last 20 minutes. <laughs> Oh, my God. The main issue on the line was Solder. The guy was a turnstile for both reasons. Jones got hit from the front. The right tackle was an issue. Right, the right, tackle, the major, right tackle was weakness. an issue. He was that's an issue, but Zones getting hit from the front. Jones getting hit from the front is Jones not being able to sense pressure yeah. even coming from the front. Yeah. No, you're exactly right. I mean, look, a lot of pressure. I mean, I haven't got the stats, but I'd be very surprised if it if most of it, most of the stuff didn't come through the right then the center, then the left. Um, uh, last year, I haven't got the stats in front of me, but but you know, you we're, we're, unless that rush comes incredibly fast through the center, you shouldn't be getting hit as often as Jones gets hit through the center. I, I mean, yeah, I mean that's. I, mean, that, I, I had a friend in college, and he. You had he, a friend. I, this I, is I, breaking. I, this I, is I, breaking news. I had a friend in college, and I played with. I, we played together. And it was funny though because he had the worst reaction time. 
And it, we used, and it was funny because we would be, we would be at the fraternity and we would throw things at him just to watch him miss. Cause it'd be like this. And then like 30 seconds later, he'd be like, after he got hit in the head, <laughs> that reminds me of Daniel Jones. <laughs> oh, dear me. It's, it, 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 sound, it sounds like my friend Frosty when we tell him a joke. 20 minutes later, he gets it. 20 minutes later. He's <laughs> Actually, no. you know do you know what? Do you know what we're talking about? Reaction times uh, and slow to get rid of the ball. Literally, one of them, I, I shouldn't take the mick out of a six year old clip, but I was like, clear the ball, clear the ball, clear the ball, clear, just clear. Uh, oh, you got caught on the ball. And literally, I was like, I literally, I didn't realise. I turned around and I went, it's like watching Daniel Jones for the New York Giants. And the coach on the other side was like, ha, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Here's my question though, I have for you. Are you saying clear the ball or clear the bowl? Because it sounds like you're saying ball. clear the bowl. B-A-L-L, clear the ball. I'm hearing B-O. <laughs> I'm hearing bowl as in like, I'm I'm taking a dump in the no, bowl. <laughs> no, that, that was Saturday morning. Morning. So maybe that's why he couldn't figure out what the hell he was saying. Sorry, on the Friday night. Was he was like, he like, why is he telling me to clear the fucking bowl? <laughs> yeah. I, I cleaned the I cleaned the Louvre when I was home already. <laughs> I'm not sure a six year old ever does that, but never mind. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> that's a good point. It's 11 p.m. kickoff. Yeah. UK time. Okay. Oh, let's see. He was Jay. Got it. I saw Malik Willis come on here. Uh, do you take an offensive tackle at five and trade down for Malik Willis? My problem is I don't think Malik Willis is going to be there at five. You I don't think. I don't think, I don't think. I don't think Willis is going to be there. Five. I don't think Willis is going to be there at five. I mean, quarter, 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 I would say that Malik Willis is uh, uh, is a reach at five or before. However, when it comes to quarterbacks, the, the, you know that's always a position that you you're going to reach for. Um, just because you think Malik Willis is a reach. <laughs> Mike got banned. I even had a good question. Who do you think comes in and tra- and takes that spot ahead of five? Who, who, who do you think trades up for him there? I don't think anyone's trading up for him. Yeah, okay, so which of the top four takes him? I think he's either going to Detroit or the Texans. They're possibles. I, I think the te- I think Detroit, will, quarterback. I think Detroit will, go, will keep going for one one more year with Goff. I, I wouldn't. I, I think, I think with Malik, you're going to have to sit him a year. Well, Why that? not take your franchise quarterback at two? You get out and you get out from under. You know you're going to be bad in Detroit. You get out from underneath the Goff contract in 2023. Zach, what's the Goff contract? I think 2023. Google that for me. You get out of the, you get out of this. So you, get out, <laughs> you get out of the Goff contract. But the problem is Zach's got to Google it and then type it. So he, you know, he's he's got a handicap. I got it. I got it. Oh, dear me. No, I haven't got it. Uh, 20, 20 million six hundred and fifty, but it's his dead cap that's gonna matter. But what can twenty twenty three though? I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. And what's his trade cap number? Uh, his dead cap would be ten million and his cap hit would be thirty point six five. What's his trade cap number? Oh, I don't know if it has it here. Don't ask complicated questions. I found it on Google. What more do you want? I want you to the be trade prepared. Card number. I want you to be prepared. This is a show of professionalism. Really? When did this happen? The other day. <laughs> <laughs> when I did a professional radio show, I've learned I need to be more professional. Oh, dear me. I haven't got his uh, trade cap number. I've just got his dead cap. Uh, but I can see it. Am I the meanest? Sure Am I the prettiest? Sure Am I the baddest mofo low down around this town? Sure We're just going to play movie clips until you Google something. <laughs> uh, Five million dollars if trade is the cap, the trade cap. Number. <laughs> so I take a cor- Another I take, point to Zach. <laughs> I take Malik Willis at two. I sit You'd him have to trade up to two. No, no, I'm saying oh, I'm no. Detroit. I'm Detroit. I take Willis at two. I put him behind. You're going to be bad no matter what. Dan Campbell knows this. I put him behind the golf. I spell him with the golf every. I, I spell the golf every once in a while with Malik. I turn around in 2023 and trade the. I trade then golf out, and you hope that golf has a good enough season that if you trade him out, maybe you get a sixth round pick or a fifth round pick. Because your dead cap number, your dead cap numbers on the trade is not bad. So the, sort of a San Francisco 49ers with 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 um, uh, Jimmy G just just trying to increase value. Yeah, I mean he's exactly. out hitting free agency, but you know. exactly. 
Steelers want yeah. Malik. Steelers do want Malik. Someone asked me today. They're going to have to trade up for him fast. Someone asked me today, if the Steelers take Malik, what are you going to do with your Malik Willis jersey? I said, I'm going to dye it black. Problem solved. <laughs> oh, I missed you the other day. What will you do if he, if Malik's there at five and we, we pass? <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> Stop supporting the team. I said I quit. <laughs> if Malik, this is going to be like, this is going to be like the Parsons thing. If Malik is there at five and we don't take him, I quit. I'm going to turn, turn the stream off. Could you? Could you? That would be what in three and four years. Uh, uh, Josh, uh, <laughs> Michael Parsons, and Malik. I'm telling you, I, I think you'd be in therapy for the next few years. We are. I'm going to give you a preview. This is this is a preview with Dom and I in the draft this year, and with Malik Will. Let's say the Giants pick at five. Malik Wills is sitting there, and the commissioner comes up and said, "And the Giants, with the fifth pick in the NFL draft, have selected Bob Johnson." Punter, Iowa. <laughs> it probably will happen as well. That's the worst thing. Oh, dear me. Oh, we could do with a punter, although we did pick one up the other day. He'll be back in a minute. I think he's just crying at the thought of prospect of everything else going. Here he is. <laughs> That's what I would do. <laughs> That's what would happen. And the people will be sitting there going, boy, Dom looks uncomfortable. <laughs> like, when is Tim coming back? Yeah. <laughs> I would probably stay for like an hour. <laughs> and then I, I would stop for about an hour, and then I would see if Dom is still there. No, I'd give you like ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, I would need ten minutes because <laughs> I would take the jersey off the running against the wall. <laughs> I'll spot you for ten minutes. Can I go back to Zach's comment? Three up. Hold on, wait a minute. Age uh, Texans like David Mills. I doubt if they draft a quarterback in the first round. I think they like David Mills, but I think if you're going to take a franchise quarterback, David Mills is not proven. That he's a franchise quarterback. Mills got better and better throughout the season. He got better, yes. But, but so are people know. like Gardner Minshew. I, you know, if you, if you, uh, I think the ceiling of Malik Willis is higher he's than Mills, and therefore you, you, you do it. Particularly as you know, you're going to get a whole load of trade picks at some point for Watson. Right. Exactly. And the answer to Zach's question is, we have won something. In fact, we have won far more things more recently. The Giants. Uh, we still suck, but we, <laughs> but that probably shows how desperate we are for for something in New York. Oh my goodness gracious! Zach's quick as lightning with the Google. Yeah, I'm going to call him Flash from now on. That's his Zach's new ne- nickname. Flash. Oh, oh, King of the Impossible. Oh my goodness, Dom. Hello, <laughs> Zach. He Google's impossible. Zach knows how to Google. I just wish Dom did. <laughs> uh, I am not. I am not quick. I'm not even a slow typer. That's what makes it worse. <laughs> Wait a minute, although. <laughs> I'm 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 not gonna say what I was gonna go back and say what I was gonna say. It's a family show. It's a family show. You can you can message me later. I'm gonna I will I will message you later. I probably won't remember that. Here we go. Here's a good question. Can we get both like pass rushers from Michigan? Do you like both the do you like the guys from Michigan? Uh, you're gonna have to remind me who the two from Michigan are because I know the players, but not necessarily where they're from. What do you mean you don't know where they're from? I told you, and I'm only just starting to look at the draft now. I don't know. Uh, who two, I don't know who two players are from Michigan. Isn't what's his name? Is um, what's his name? Isn't uh, what the hell is his name? <laughs> it. Uh, wait, 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 Hutchinson, Hutchinson and uh, Hutchinson one. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm drawing a blank. I was trying to think of the second. One. I'm drawing a blank on the. Uh, is it uh, Trivedo? Uh, David Ajabo. Oh, David. Uh, yeah, I'm not a big fan of it. I'm not a big fan of his. He's going up draft boards at the moment, but I haven't. Looked He's at going up game. draft boards. You know what that? Yeah, but it's so early, so early. It's so early right now to look at that. I couldn't even. Boy, I couldn't believe I just blanked on Hutchinson. <laughs> I, I can't do. I can't. I can rarely remember which college they play for because I don't look. I don't get the college game, so I just have to look at. The well, I was going to say you have you have an excuse. You don't. You don't get the. You don't get the college game. So, I mean, that's. I'm going to. I'm going to. I feel like. I feel like Daniel Jones right now. You. You're making excuses for me. <laughs> that's because I like you, man. I, li- I like oh, you. That's very kind. Contrary, contrary, contrary to popular belief, I like you. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I never knew, but <laughs> I like you. From now on, when Dom is going to be doing his thing and it's a competition between Dom and Zach, <laughs> oh, Zach's going to win every time. <laughs> we're going to put up the Google. We're going to put up the Google phrase for the Dom and Zach, and we're just going to leave it up there until we see who gets it done first. <laughs> <laughs> sure, just, just take it back down. We'll just give it straight to Zach. Catches bullets with his teeth because you want to know why? He's got the glow, Kareem. He's reached the upper level. His mind, body, and soul are one. 
Okay. That's when you that's when you get the glow. Only cool people understand that reference, like Cream and myself. Logic's finest dropping into the house. Good afternoon, Dom. Good afternoon. I look, I read your name first. I was trying to be nice. Good afternoon, Tim. Afternoon, Dom. Hope everyone's doing well. Manchester United fun for life. I am the mighty red devils. Is that, the name, of the wa- is that the name of the Washington team? So mighty they're below Arsenal, Arsenal in the table and couldn't even beat Southampton. Just saying. Uh, Ron Juan says, I'm really bulky because we're not playing this week. I was just because you're probably not playing this week. <laughs> Although the value of the pick makes sense at two, the question is, is a quarterback the greatest need? Yes. I'm, I'm going to, that's not the long term there. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to break down this for, for all football fans and especially giant fans. If you don't have a quarterback, you have Daniel Jones. Take golf over Jones, wouldn't you? Hell yeah. But golf, take, golf isn't long term. I would today, take I golf over Jones. I would take Gardner Minshew over Jones. I would take Phil Sims over Jones. I would I'd not. Take take, go- I would not I'd take, take go- Ryan Leaf over Jones. <laughs> I, I might go because he hasn't played in a while, so he might be well rested. Is, is there any starting quarterback in the NFL from last season that you wouldn't take over Jones? Starting quarterback. Starting quarterback. If I had, a, if I had thirty-one, I, I'm handing Tyro Taylor as a Texans starting quarterback. Not if I'm counting thirty-one, so thirty-one quarterbacks first Jones is what you're saying. If mm. if I could have Jones or any of the other thirty-one, Tyrod Taylor would probably be the only quarterback I wouldn't take over Jones. Yeah, I would take I David Mills over Jones. Yeah, because I counted Tyro Taylor because he was their their starting quarterback. You know what? Worse, I would take Carson Wentz. Over Jones, <laughs> I, I would if I could trust him to be healthy, but then I can't trust Jones to be healthy, so that kind of moots that argument, doesn't it? I would take Sam Darnold over Jones. I would take Cam Newton over Jones. I would have definitely taken Sam Darnold over 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 Jones at the start of the season. Now I'm less sure. Having having stuck. Listen, having, everyone, having, having, everyone having, blames. Having, everyone blames. There were a lot of issues there. Everyone blames everything but Daniel Jones in New York. And I find it interesting because I have a lot of family that lives in Carolina. Everyone blames, blames. Sam Darnold over the coaching. Because I'd remind everyone that he was without his star running back for a lot of the year as well. But yes, there was a big difference when he had his star running back. Well, I, I said preseason that I thought that they were probably would miss out on the playoffs, but they'd be in the hunt right to the end. Obviously, that didn't happen. But they started like an express train until um, whatever his name is got hurt, McCaffrey. Hurt McGee, yeah. It's the Abe, 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 Abe Froman super chat. What strategy do you see Shane going in the draft? Best posi- uh, best player available or pos- positional need? What would you prefer? Um, Abe, thank you for the super chat, my friend. All super chats go to the Philadelphia Children's Hospital. Do it for the and kids. A good question as well. I have to go. Ooh. <sighs> You know, if I, I always say you got to take best player available, but the problem is you're picking at five. So there are a lot of best players available and there's best players available at certain positions in the draft. I, I have to go with, I'm, I'm going to put a caveat to this, Dom, then I want to hear your answer. I'm going to put a caveat to this. I think you're going to put the same caveat I was going to do. But I'm going to take the best player available that fits the Giants need. And I'm not saying, and I want, and the reason I'm saying that is because we're picking at five. There's only four other teams picking ahead of us, so that means I have a plethora of, let's say, 200 players to choose from. That my best player available, or my thought of the best player available, may be different from another team's. But I got to take the best talent for the team. But if I could fill a need at the same time, like taking a linebacker or taking a quarterback. Uh, that's what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to take. And like I said, when you're picking at five, only four of the people picked. So the cookie jar is still full of good cookies. All the bad crumbly cookies are on the bottom, but you got the good big round cookies on the top. So you're still going to get what you're still going to get a good value player. My, my strategy would be exactly the same. It's best player available, but there are given the needs we have, You've got to be looking at, um, you know, uh, a tackle, linebacker, quarterback, right. cornerback, potentially. You know, I wouldn't go that this draft, to be fair, um, or, or, or an edge uh, with that fifth one. Because let's say, for argument's sake, that Linderbaum or uh, Carl Hamilton um, are the best players on the board at five, right? Yeah. Just for argument's sake. 
you can get those players are, uh, um, in later rounds uh, and, and get much better value out of that pick. So I think you have to be taking one of those top positions, top need positions uh, early on, even if that's not the best player at that place. As you go down past 10, that's when you start going best player available a little bit more. Yeah. Um, but I would take, say, Linderbaum or, or, or Hamilton if that were, if we were, I mean, you're not picking five in that scenario, but if we were one, two players away, and that was a difference from us going to, you know, deep in the playoffs and, and not. But at this moment, with the, with the gaps we have across the roster. Yeah. yeah. I, I like this question, though. Tim, what if Malik is there and the Giants, that seven of the Giants take George? <laughs> Everyone knows how we, here, here we go. In fairness, and I'm not advocating necessarily taking a quarterback uh, in this draft. I, I wouldn't. I, I would take the quarterback over, over uh, Kaleftis as well. Um, but I wouldn't be against drafting him, just not seven. George had one good season. That's what you said. He, I wouldn't he be against drafting him. Not seven. Freshman year, he had one good season. He's dropped exponentially since. It's what I was just saying, but I'm not taking him at seven. Like no, no way. I can't take James Williams is here. James got my number seven. Um, what's up, my brother? How you doing? Uh, we got here. Oh, Sam Darnold. Yep, Cam Newton. Tim does not like Jones. Not that I don't like Jones. It's just there's better quarterbacks that can actually you. I think you can win with. I say the same about Wilson at, at the Jets as I do about Jones. It's, but see, it's, I would still take I would take Zach Wilson over David Daniel, Daniel Jones. No, what I'm saying is it's their it's their uh, their decision making their their, you their, their, their now? reaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Norm, I'm I, actually I gotta, have some, some, gotta have some pasta. Some some, some, some guys. Some pasta for Zul. What am I going off for you, Cowboys? But but I I have similar issues with Zach Wilson as I do as I do Jones. It's it's. I, I would take a, a less talented player if they can if they can see the play and see the field and make the right decisions. Here's here's the thing about Zach Wilson. Zach Wilson's only going into year two. Daniel Jones is going into year four. I pretty much know what Daniel Jones is. And people could tell me, well, you don't know because of the injuries and this and this. Really, because if we keep talking about this lack of an offensive line, that Burroughs guy he does pretty good without an offensive line, getting sacked nine times in a playoff game and winning, going to the Super Bowl. Did pretty good without an offensive line. I've said it before. There are plenty of quarterbacks who've had bad offensive lines that went to Super Bowls. The Giants in 2011 had one of the worst ranks offensive lines in the league. I, I, think, think, talk, I think they won the Super Bowl that year. We talked about this before, but you, you'd want to be seeing going into year four some improvement. Um, and you want to see are, going into year two or three. Well, certainly going into year four, but that hasn't been over the three years. No. And the areas we have improved are because we've adapted the playbook to do that. So right. we have cut down on the fumbles because we're simplifying things. But you wouldn't expect to have to be still simplifying things at the end of year three. I mean, no, he was didn't get the, to the end of year three because he got injured. But was it the first game or the second game of the season? I think it was it. I can't remember. It was Atlanta where he fought week? Well, the game so was, was first, week two. It was the first game of the season. No, three. Sorry, it was first game of the first game of the season when we were making our little bit. We you know the, the game was not was the game was still you know within hand and Daniel Jones ran big run big run falls down fumbles the ball. <laughs> That 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 is the that is his dichotomy of his game. Would I take Nick? I would take Trevor Lawrence or Zach Wilson over Daniel Jones. I would take Nick Mullins over Daniel Jones. Nick Mullins actually won some games with the 49ers. I, I don't know if I'd do that because I think the 49ers had a much better roster around him than Daniel Jones did. So I, I'm not sure I would make that comparison. I think but both Nick Mullins and Daniel Jones are in that poor man starter. Nick top. Mullins played on an injury when he started, he played in, on an injury plagued. Talent depleted roster that year. Yeah, with better coaches, you can make better play calls. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I, I don't think it's, it's a, it's, it's. It, I, I'm, I wouldn't. I wouldn't necessarily agree with that. I don't think the difference is that great either. Um, it'd be interesting to see what Nick Mullins would do, and it's a sliding doors money. You're not going to see, but Mister Forever says you sound ridiculous. Me or Tim? He says you. He says yeah. okay, y'all Dom sound ridiculous. You see it clearly on the screen. <laughs> Fair dues is why we like sports, but you know, that's, my, that's my view. It's my view. We have a two to super chat winning team has players with winning mindsets. It's the principle which you live by, regardless of how much a player earns each year. Losers always are losers. I agree with that. I've said this. I've said this before. There are certain players and you don't want to call someone a loser, but there are certain players that I always feel that they play for themselves. They don't play for the team. 
And it's a mindset that they are there for. I call them paid. I've said it before. I call them paycheck players. They're paying for, they're playing for the money. They're not playing for the other guys around them. And I don't want to call anyone a loser, but to me, that's a loser. And I, I assume the same way in soccer, or maybe they just, I don't know. I don't know about soccer. Maybe they. Oh, you think it's the same in all sports? Be off a cliff or something over there. I don't know. It's the same in all sports. You get right. your money and, you know, you see them coming up for a new contract and they play like, you know, they're the best player in the world. And then suddenly they, they drop off. I think it's the same in rugby. Right. It's the same in football. It's the same in cricket. I mean, you're talking about much less money in cricket, but right. well, yeah. principle applies. Johnny Manziel over Jones, Tim. Well, I'm going to take Jones because Johnny Manziel's not in the league. He's playing in that fan fan league where the fans call the plays. He's better than Darnold and Wentz. He's not better than Wentz. <laughs> Wentz is more talented. Uh, Wentz is more talented. Wentz. Wentz just can't stay upright. Uh, I was going to say, but I would have. I'd rather have Jones in my team than Wentz, just because I, I trust Jones, uh, Wentz a whole lot less to be on the field. I, I, I mean, outside of that game, they had to win in Jacksonville. Which we know they didn't win, and we know how that turned out. But I don't blame, uh, I don't 100% blame Wentz for that. People forget this, Dom. I just had to look it up real quick. Carson Wentz this year cleared 62% of his passes, 3,563 yards, 27 touchdowns, and only seven interceptions. My, my issue is not Wentz's talent, it's, it's him staying fit. But it's that, that, fit. That, that, that applies to, to Jones just as equally as much. That's so if you think Wentz is not better than Jones, <laughs> Darnold and Jones both started off season real well. I think Jones had one good game. Why does everyone have this? And I'm not picking on UECK, but why do all these people have these revisionists this history, Dom, after you go through the season? There were plenty of people. Jones would have these games in the beginning of the season where we would throw for 200 yards and a touchdown. People like, whoa, hot's a franchise quarterback. No, in the days when 300 is the norm. Three, sometimes 400, some of these guys. Jones did throw for 400 yards in one game, but that's, you know, even even a blind squirrel finds a nut. I think it's a bit harsh, but yeah. It's, uh, it, it's, all, right, all right, listen, I would like to apologize. I'm sorry, squirrels, to comparing you to Daniel Jones. <laughs> I apologize to the squirrel. I, and I should rephrase it. I apologize to the blind squirrels. Daniel, Daniel Jones, it, 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 like I say, he's a back-end starter. He's a top, top. Uh, backup, but he's probably moving towards the top backup. And to be honest with you, we don't even know what he's going to be because we don't know what this injury is. Right. Jeff's but got then, a good question. Jeff's got a good question. Which which Daniel Jones deficiencies are are fixable and which ones aren't? They're not. None of them are fixable. I love that people are going to fix a quarterback. Going, and I'm not. And, I, and Jeff, I'm not yelling at you. I, I like. I love how people are going to fix a quarterback after four and in, going into year four. You can't fix. His, you can't fix his pocket presence. You can't fix his feel for the game. You can't fix his blindside awareness. You can't fix the fact that he seems to be gun shy to throw the ball beyond four yards. I wonder. I wonder if that one is fixable. Actually, the rest he, I would agree with. He had opportunity. This thing that kills me. He had opportunities. He had guys going down the sideline. I remember a couple. I remember a couple plays with Darius Slayton where he either threw the ball short or he threw the ball out of bounds on sideline passes. There, there Kurt is. Warner, God bless his soul. We've talked about this a million games, a million times. If you not, if you have not seen it, go watch Kurt Warner's breakdown of Daniel Jones in the Washington game, where he pointed out numerous times, Dan, and this is early in the season when he was fixed, where Daniel Jones had one-on-one -on -one coverage on the sidelines and didn't throw the ball. He checked down. Go back and look where, and like I said, the, the video is like 14 minutes long. And a minute of it, a minute and a half of it is him, uh, Kurt Warner, kind of blasting Jason Garrett a little bit. Not blasting, but he was pointing things out with Jason Garrett. And then the other 12 and a half minutes was all the things that Daniel Jones did wrong. And Giant fans only saw the minute and a half where everything was Jason Garrett's fault. Here's where I slightly disagree with you on that uh, in terms of where. Well, we don't have that here. You want to disagree with me? Go someplace else. Would you like me to go on Twitter? <laughs> go, on Twitter. Go, go ahead. Uh, it, it is. I wonder how much of that was. And this, let me be clear. I'm not blaming Garrett here. I wonder how much of that was. He was concerned about the, the philosophy and the culture uh, again around what happens if he doesn't take it. Now, uh, Here, now here's, no, 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 wait, I, I, wait. I'm going to stop you first. I'm going to stop go you then. first. Here's the problem with that I'll theory. Like for it. 
Here's here's the problem with that theory. I'm gonna stop you with this right off the bat because I know where you're going. This was when what 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 game was the Washington game? What game of the season? I've oh, top my head, I don't know, but somewhere about eight, nine, probably. Just, but just I can check. Zach, Google it. <laughs> Dom, Google when the Google when that game was. <sighs> Doing it now. I can't type now. But go on, make your point. No, 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 no. I want, I, I, I want to make my point, but I want to, sh- I want to, I want to make the point as fast as I can. Well, and you get me to Google is not the way to do it. Uh... Week. Everyone's already said it. Week two, Dom. Week two. Oh, is it that early we played? Washington? Yes, it was week two. So the philosophy, uh, we were not trying to put Daniel Jones in a position to fail and cause turnovers. That hadn't come to like week nine. No, I, I no, I wasn't going to go that far. I mean, I was going to make the same point, but but not to the point it got by the end of the season. But you just wonder how much was th- we still had the the safety first mentality that was joe no we did not but we we did not have the safety first mentality no we didn't i think it got worse but I the think we safety always had first that. mentality did not occur to, I, i'm going to disagree with you 100 with this on giant uh, with the giants the safety the safety first mentality in my mind did not occur until week six against the rams that's when the safety first mentality started to come on board for the giants they were still running, and he watched the film World Warner. They were still running deep routes for Jones. He wasn't throwing the ball. Your own wide receiver coach comes out at the end of the season and says, we misuse Kenny G, not to the fact that he was not running the routes. We did not throw the ball to him. <laughs> That's the quarterback's fault. I'm not blaming, uh, I'm not entirely taking it off him, but I wonder just how much he was concerned about the repercussions of not making those throws because of the way that things were in there and how much he was told, if in doubt, take that safety first option. But it's weak. And I, w- I would agree with the, I would agree. I would, philosophy yet. I, I, I disagree. I think we had it from the start, but I would agree where the wide receiver coach is right. The, <laughs> he was there, he was open, and we weren't throwing the ball. I, but I wonder whether that was all aimed at. Uh, here's, and, here's and, and and but a good quality quarterback will ignore that play call and go. Here's the question. I, I, I think he was mentally. Here's the question, though, Dom. Why was the Giants coaching staff sending players deep if they didn't want Daniel Jones to throw the ball on one-on-one coverage? <sighs> that is a, an excellent point. Annoyingly, um, it, it, it is. You're true, not going to run deep but, out if you but, don't want to take a shot. But again, but what I just said though was. Um, and here I managed to regroup. This is good news. It, it is. It's not that we didn't necessarily want to throw the ball deep, but it was the repercussions of failing to throw the ball deep because we were safety first. It's like if in doubt, don't throw that ball deep, even though it's there. If but in doubt, and you don't think you can make safety, it. safety first. If you think I'm going to disagree with you again, if you think your quarterback is gun shy, and you think your quarterback cannot complete the deep route, and you think your quarterback is not going to allow or take that chance, you are not going to waste your most talented players or your most talented wide receivers by sending them on deep routes. You're not going to decoy Kenny G. You're not going to decoy Darius Slayton. You're not going to take them out of the play if you think your quarterback cannot make the plays. No, but I, Because saying- in the NFL, what you're trying to do is you are trying to create mismatches so you get one-on-one coverage. Yeah, but what, what I'm saying is that uh, you're sending them deep you because you think your quarterback can do it but you're telling your quarterback if you can't make it go 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 safe and i think that what we saw was him going safe more often than not because he was concerned about that and i could be wrong it could be exactly what you're saying i'm just saying that there may be an element of that here and yeah, therefore, they, they then doubt then they doubt it back but i think jones was done. if I think, you would i think jones was mentally done before he even got out into week one if you would have said that on week, then, then how do you explain the 400 yards in New Orleans? An aberration? <laughs> if you would have told me that, like, against um, Kansas City, th- then I would believe that philosophy. But it is week two of the season. You are trying to take some defenses by surprise. Because it's week two. Nobody knows what you're running yet. Nobody knows your philosophy yet. So right now, the film isn't there. It's not the middle of the season. Nobody knows Daniel Jones is gun shy. And Kurt Warner pointed out very succinctly in these videos, 
the Giants created one-on-one matchups with their best playmakers and had the one-on-one coverages, but Daniel Jones either never saw it or saw it and checked down. I, I think I him. I mean, both are believable. Him not seeing it, I can definitely believe. But I, I'm just saying that it is. If if my theory is right, and it isn't if then I think that is fixable. If it's not, if your theory is right, it's not fixable. But I think that is potentially fixable, whereas I don't think the other bits are that's not, fixable. That's not fixable. I'm going to tell you that right now from watching. I, I, don't, think will, I don't think he will fix it, but I think it is fixable. It's not fixable. Every There have been so many quarterbacks that were referred to as gun shy. I cannot think of one that was fixed. Seriously, I can, going back to the 70s, I cannot think of a quarterback that, was gun, that became gun shy and got David Carr. First for overall pick, Derek's brother, got the bejesus beat out of him in the Texans, became gun shy. All he would never, do is never, check, never all he would do is check down. Never recovered. Tim Couch, quarterback, Cleveland Browns, played well, got gun shy, never looked downfield again. Doesn't want to look downfield because of the fact that he he was he was afraid to take the shot. These are guys. I can go back even further to the eighties, but no one's going to know. Say, I was, I was going to say this. Could, this could go on. Gabe but McGlynn. I, I'm not. I'm not, saying you, I'm not saying. You're, I'm not saying. you're wrong. You keep going. I'm. Just, I'm, I'm just, no, you're fine. I'm just saying. No, you sure you don't that keep going. Is, no, that's fine. I'm just saying that that is a possibility with a new coaching job. I don't think it will be fixed, but I think it could be fixed. Whereas I don't think the fumbling issue, unless you really, really make it really, really safe and easy for him, with by simply the playbook so much that it becomes but irrelevant. See, I think the fumbling issue really can be fixed. I don't think it would, but I, we're now reversing our arguments, well, but T- I don't think it will Tiki be Bar- fixed. This is a giant, giant example, Tiki Barber. Jim Fossil never fixed a fumbling, fumbling problem with Tiki Barber. It wasn't until Tom Coughlin came in and the new running back coach, and they taught him, you know, that weird stance holding the ball like this and, and making sure you secure the ball. I but think I that think, can be fixed. But I don't think it will be fixed because the issue, the issue is not whether he can hold and secure the ball that much. It's the fact he doesn't see it coming and therefore isn't in a position to secure the ball, and I don't think he's going to learn it because I think we've been working on that for two years and he hasn't fixed it yet, so therefore he's not going to. Working on it for three years. <laughs> Yes. Well, yes. Year one, though, you could say he was working on a whole load of other stuff and maybe that wasn't the focus. Year two onwards, he was the focus. Year two, he went to fumbling camp and all sorts, if I remember rightly. Week and two. He, and, he, and he put on £365 million. And uh, that, made him, that made him such a better to quarterback. Sure it, to make sure he was a better quarterback. Week two. How about all of 2020? He had only 11 touchdowns, 10 interceptions. He sucked. Wake up, people. I think that's very succinctly the way to put it. We got another two toes. We definitely agree on we definitely agree on Jones. I think we disagree on what might or might not be fixed. I think we can all agree that we don't think much of it is, if any of it will be fixed. It's not gonna get fixed. It's not gonna get fixed. The Giants should put me in charge of signing them. Says I learned a lot during my pro career. Who's the winning players? Who's the BS? Size, talent, attitude, work ethic. You know what the thing is though? I think Jones has minimal talent. I think he's got good size for a quarterback. I think he's got the great work ethic. I he's just, don't, I just don't think that he is a starting NFL quarterback. My my biggest issue with Jones is, and it's the same with Zach Wilson. I just don't see the ability to to make the decisions on the field. You mean and like that, throwing, you mean like throwing thing. deep when he's got one on one coverage on the sideline? That. <laughs> How we gonna? But wait, Dom, you just said we could fix that. I did say we could fix it. I didn't say we would. Just fix it. I said, but I said we could fix it. I got a question for you, Don. Blake Martinez or James Bradbury? I already answered that. <laughs> you did not answer that. We agree answer. it's both, but I you didn't give me that. one name. That's right. Slayton dropped the pass in the end zone week two against the commanders. Yeah. And, and you know what? Sorry, really quickly. There should be a really, 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 really personal and easy answer for you to that question. What's that? Well, you could go. I would cut Martinez because Bradby was really nice to me and my family. <laughs> and if I got to I cut one, he was only one, <laughs> only one to wave to my kid. There you go. See, it's nice, them. easy, personal reason why. Because they probably both have to go. I don't, like <laughs> I don't like people personally. I don't like people personally. Dom, you should know this by now. I love the Giants fans only see one side. The coach was conservative. The scheme was old school and trash. Jones doesn't even deserve half to blame. 
Uh, okay. uh, sorry, I wasn't paying attention because I think you've got a, a bot in the, in the chat. Oh, I got a bot. Yeah, I got a bot. Oh, love, love my face. face. I love. I love. I got I love, distracted by the moderator. Oh, moderator, where are you, moderator? Bots are bad. He's been blocked. There we go. I blocked him. <laughs> sorry, I got distracted by the. What the hell is this button? <laughs> what, the, what the hell was that freaking button? Get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. That's for you, Mr. Bot. <laughs> Daniel Jones did not play scared. He didn't. No, that, 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 is a fair, that is a fair comment. All right. Logic's finest says, Dave Brown, Danny Cannell fans realized they were both bad quarterbacks. Why are the Giants refusing to see Daniel Jones as a bad quarterback? It's a delusional thinking to think Jones is good. He's below average at best. I agree. I lived through Dave Brown. I lived through Danny Cannell. I lived through Jet Ruff, Jeff Rutledge, Scott Bruner, Kent Graham. I lived through those guys. They were bad quarterbacks. And the, the, the biggest issue the Giants had is Danny Cannell took the Giants to a playoff game and won. And they thought that Danny the combination of Danny Cannell and Kent Graham was going to be something. So they didn't really look at quarterbacks for like two, three years. And they were, they were, they were misinformed and they had to kind of move on from it. And it's just, it's just terrible. I, I mean, I think we both agree that Daniel Jones is not the future uh, of this franchise at all. Uh, and, you know, let's say he's a career backup for the rest of his career. That still makes him one of, you know, one of the top 50 quarterbacks in the game at any time. You know, that that's, you know, still makes him in the top, you know, couple of percent in the country for quarterbacks. Right. But this is the NFL. Right. You know, I, I played football with a lot of good players, but they weren't good enough to be pro. <laughs> I'm going to say that I'm going to I'm going to say something nice about Daniel Jones. I'm going to say something nice. Daniel Jones is a better NFL quarterback than I am. I'm sure you can find better, nicer things to say about him than that, but, <laughs> but he's, got nice, you know. he's got nice hair. <laughs> I actually don't like his haircut. I, don't, I really don't like Daniel Jones. Haircut. No, I don't either actually, but you know, look, he's clearly a smart kid. He clearly works hard. He clearly, you know, gives everything he can for the team, but we need him to win games. And that's the issue. You know, we, he, he he's a nice guy. You always say he's a nice guy. I'm sure he writes to his mother, but we need him to win games. And that, that that's the difference. And that's what we need to see from him and, and any quarterback for any team. You can't just keep a quarterback because he's nice. You have to keep a quarterback because he's your future and you're going to win things. I'm mad at my mod. Someone needs to get wonked. We took care of it. We wonked. We wonked. <laughs> took me a while, but we wonked. Well, I'm, I'm behind on the chats here. Oh, my goodness. Uh, let's. Oh, I'm sorry about that. David Terry says Jones doesn't have it. Even when he has time, he looks makes bad choices. He's the only quarterback you don't want near the red zone because he screws the pooch 99% of the time. I'm going to say something nice about Daniel Jones. I think he only screws the pooch 97.3% of the time. He's terrible in the red zone. Absolutely. Stats must be horrific. I'm not going to Google it. It'll take me three and a half hours, but... I don't have that much time. Uh, let's fix the players around a new quarterback before we draft a young quarterback. Willis is the really good, but he's very raw. Why put him in a bad team without tools around some seasons? Well, spin Max, Dave, you draft him, you sit him. Because you know what? I, I've said this before, Dom. I find it amazing. Back in the 80s, 70s, 80s, 90s, most of the time, rookie quarterbacks didn't play. They sat for a year or two. Patrick Mahomes was the first quarterback that I could think in years that was taken as high as he was that the coach sat him. And I think that I think that did a lot for Eli Manning was sat for the first eight games of the season. Trey Lance will be a lot better for Trey him. Lance. That year. Trey, good point. I know he played some, but Jimmy G got injured, so in he came. Trey Lance. So you can sit a young quarterback. It's okay. There's now, no, I, I, there's no unwritten by rule in the NFL saying you can't sit your starting quarterback. <laughs> your, your rookie it, quarterback. It's an play draft. But I, I don't disagree with this as a strategy, by the way, and I, I've advocated this strategy. Having said that, I've always caveated with, if you think one of the quarterbacks, any of the quarterbacks, is your quarterback of the future, then you do take him rather than wait to see what you've got next year. But I agree. If you Ideally, you know, if you, you want your quarterback coming in with, with, with more pieces around him. But if, like I say, if you think Willis is the guy at five, you take him. If you think Pickett is the guy at five, you take him. Right. I mean, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but I, I, I would agree that, the the quarterback coming in with better piece around him it, it, it is good and if you do, can delay that a year um then i think you've start your clock a year later and i think that will be to the benefit of of the giants but but you don't delay if you if you think one of these quarterbacks is your piece right. then you, you don't wait you don't wait. you don't wait and see what you've got next year you, you can't 
Logic's fine. It's got a great comment here. Remove this. And I've said this before. People say you can't remove the three rookie games. Remove the three rookie games. We threw multiple touchdowns and Jones has more games played touchdown scores in his career. Jones doesn't have a full season yet. Let that sink in. My thing is, like I said, you take away those three games for Daniel Jones. His stats are then eerily similar for the next three seasons, 10 touchdowns, 11 interceptions, 11 touchdowns, 10 interceptions, 12 touchdowns, four, 10 interceptions, whatever it is. They're eerily similar. And that's keeping in the good game for the Saints. I, I mean, I said to the King of Idiots somewhere about week three, four in season two, that's it. Jones isn't Jones isn't the answer. Um, you know, and, you know, I've defended him to the point of view that I don't think he's got awful, um, but I don't think he's a starting quarter, quarterback for us. Um, and you're right. You can't take out those, those games. They're on his record and forever will be. But when, but you but as I said, the Saints game, you could argue is an aberration. Um, you know, you could say, and now it would appear that those three games in, in season one were an aberration because no one had film. Right. I just want, I just like this question because the two says, I suffered. This is, this is from, he was talking to someone in the chat. I suffered a bunch of minor injuries in the last playoff games. I'm a triple cover, tackled all day to stop me from destroying their offense. We're bringing Tuto over to the States. I'm going to sign him up to let him play for the Giants. James comes in with a big quote. Daniel Jones thinks he's Tuto when he's really Al Bundy. Polkai, Al Bundy, but shoe salesman Al Bundy. I would say what? I don't know who Al Bundy is. but Al Bundy had four touchdowns at Polkai. School record. <laughs> That's why he was saying he's Al Bundy's from a show called Married with Children. And it's, uh, it's a show that uh, you couldn't make anymore. <laughs> It's in the 80s. You can't do that. You can't. Their humor you cannot do anymore. Uh, let's see here. Willy Wonka chocolate coffee creamer. Yo, that would be pretty good. Willy Wonka. Uh, let's see here. Willy Wonka voice. Just, just, just finished his, Willy Wonka last night, actually, with the with the kids. With the 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 um, the original one. The book, yeah. Or, oh, the, the book. book. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I forgot. The, you guys don't have TV yet. Yeah, no electricity doesn't. It cuts off at eight. At eight? Oh, it's late. I know. It's, it, we, we, we've improved this year. It's fine. It's okay. Oh, did, you missed my last comment. Uh, who do you have have both have for today? I'm sorry, Zach. There's just so many. I'm so behind on the comments right now. I'm trying to get to everyone's comments. I, I apologize. Who do we have? I have the Rams 35-28 over the Bungles. Eli uh, Apple was torched by the OBJ. I had. Uh, I also had the Rams by less. I had them. I actually jotted it down. So I didn't forget. Rams 27, Bengals 20. Okay, what's that book on your bookshelf? Which one? Le oh, uh, Le Carre, I've got a few. Uh, I have Tinker Taylor. Uh, I have... All right, I was bored with that. I'll wait till he comes back. Do, do, do. I heard you. He was interested. I saw him talking to Le Carre in the chat. Logic Finders, next time I'm on live stream and not on, I'll just, I, I, we, can we can talk and Tim can, Kim can poo-poo it from the sidelines. Just because he, he, he can't read. That's, that's He's just jealous. I can read. I think I, I, the Giants I, saying they want Jones is a smokescreen. You're not going to you're not gonna bash his, his trade value. No way. No, you know, you can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. I mean, that's just... Uh, that's just and you, you can't go out and say that he's not your quarterback when you haven't seen him in training, spoken to him, et cetera, et cetera. You can think it, and you can know, know the decision, but you don't go out and publicly do it. No way. Here, here, here is the... Uh, here, here's the best thing right here. Hold the cards close to your vest. And I think, and I think that's, I think that's right. I think that's hundred percent right. Yeah. I, I don't disagree at all. Uh, I think, you know, why would you, you don't go out and say, Hey, you know, you, you know, I don't do poker, but you've got the perfect hand in your hand. You don't go, Oh, hello. Oh, I just, I just love that. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> there's I was a, practicing for when I next have tea with the queen. There, there's, a sound of, <laughs> there's a sound effect that I got to get from you. It was the very first poppycockers sound effect, and you, uh, you, I, I played the poppycockers, and you just, you just stopped that you're doing this, and you go, oh dear, oh dear, poppycockers. <laughs> I saw my, wife. I saw Mrs. Online Big Blue. I got to find that sound effect. <laughs> oh, I don't remember that, but I'm sure that's accurate. I oh, barely... It's hilarious. I Spanish very rarely rice. remember what we've discussed. Like five. Spanish rice ago. with lunch today. No, no Spanish. I had Spanish rice yesterday with my lunch. I had barbecue yesterday. The barbecue joint opened up for a day. I was going to yeah. say is that because it's snowing. You thought you'd get the, get the barbecue out. It was sixty degrees yesterday. It's thirty eight and snowing. Blimey, that's a change. The, I have no chicken thighs. That's why I can make 
I can't make that today. I have no chicken thighs. Are you talking about in your fridge or are you referring to your legs? <laughs> I got big legs. <laughs> I got big thighs. I hate pants shopping. Because I got to I got trousers, right? Yes, I hate trousers shopping. When I go down to the store and get my trousers. Um, no, because I have to get and then I then it looks weird on my butt because I got to get pants that are like one size uh, in the waist too big because I can't get my thighs into the pants. Ah, oh, Jimmy. I know. Is this is this is this, is this, is this uh, the new shopping channel or? Uh... It's also the shopping channel. We got a James Williams is going to save us. Mark Sanchez beat Tom Brady in a playoff game. Daniel Jones can't even beat a carton of eggs. In all fairness, I think Daniel Jones could beat a carton of eggs. I don't think he could do it well, and he'll probably fumble them. But I do think he could beat a carton of eggs. What about all you? Over the, all over the floor. <laughs> he might be able to wipe them up real well, too. Uh, oh, practicing for a few years' time when he gets that new job. Um, it's a good sign that we're not hearing a lot of leaks from the organization. Such far. You know what? The Giants were a leaky ship the last couple of seasons. I'm not going to lie. I think, I think, I think, uh, I do think that wise, they do, they, they do have a lot of problems leaking information. Or having information leak this year, you don't you don't hear a lot of stuff. I I don't think they leaked. I think what you'll find is they gave certain confidential briefings to certain select journalists, um, uh, but they weren't leaks. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> that's actually probably not a bad yes, thing. I was being clever. I, mean, <laughs> I, was, I was actually. <laughs> that's why I was actually laughing. I'm like that was actually pretty good. <laughs> that, was actually, that was actually pretty good, John. Yeah. Well, there you go. Oh my god, that was actually pretty good. Uh Polo es bueno. Uh yes, cream, that's because ghetto clown is gone. The ghetto gone is clown. He's gone. He's gone. Thanks for repping. <laughs> I like Omar's question here. Thanks for repping. Thanks for repping the Tevon Diggs. He Trevon Diggs jersey today. This is the Malik Willis jersey. This is number seven. This is the Maliker. This is the Willis. I'm gonna wear this. I am going to, I've made a decision. I am going to wear this Dom until we draft Malik Willis. It's going to smell. I'm going to shower it with it on. I mean, because that'll help. Yeah, because then it gets washed and I can still wear it. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> I have no word. By the way, I just sent you a message here. I think you'll enjoy. Oh, uh, okay, let me see here. Someone is going to say. <laughs> Oh, oh, dear, oh, dear. <laughs> oh me oh me <laughs> in other news back 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 to tonight's game where do you think this game gets win one and lost apart from on the field obviously oh, you suck <laughs> i've given it some thought i think this game is one in the trenches i think this i think if i think if von miller and aaron donald play up to their levels with the, I'm not gonna say lack of, you know, it is a lack of talent on the line for Cincinnati. I think, I mean, they did upgrade once they get rid of Billy Price, but um. <laughs> yeah. addition by subtraction. Um, I, I do right. think that I do think that's where the game's gonna be won. I, th I think if, if those two guys wreck their offensive line, they're gonna wreck their offensive game plan, and I don't think there's gonna be much to change in regards to you know, having that, I, there's really no way to fix that. I think. No, there's a, there's a major talent difference between the right. D, D line of the Rams and the O line of the, uh, of the Bengals. I agree. I think the, the key to the Bengals has got to be uh, making the Rams run it more. And I think the Rams will run it quite a lot early doors. Um, to be honest with you, I think it'll probably be more running in the game than we expect, but I think the difference is Donald versus that line. Uh, especially with Von Miller coming off. off so you got to remember Von Miller. You got, I mean, like, yeah. he's wearing a wacky number, but I, I can't remember what yeah. exactly. It's Von Miller's number. Uh, I'm not going to look it up. Tim That's why I called. I, you notice I didn't say Dom. I said Zach. Actually, do you know what? I think I actually have it. Uh, <laughs> I was being slow. Of course it is. I actually had it lined up. <laughs> oh, that's annoying. Uh, 40. <laughs> All right. There we go. Um, uh, I want to break the news to you. Zach already had it up. Ah, oh, well, it's a Zach too. <laughs> Only joking, Zach. Obviously, but but yeah, and I think the other thing is going to be who uh, who gets them off the field quicker. Um, and I think I had a quick look at some stats pre, pre you know, pre doing this, and uh, the Rams are, are 11th in the uh, Bron uh, Broncos, and the Bengals 22nd in third outs. Otherwise, actually, statistically, they're not far off uh, this season. He's number 40 on the Rams, 58 on the Broncos. 
Do you want to know it was college number two? Because, you know, let's Zach, not, Zach let's, not, let's not overcomplicate things. Um, I even already had it ready and I still couldn't find it quicker. Than that. <laughs> <laughs> we got another two to super chat. Our entire team watching you live. Well, thank you. Show right now. Everyone loves the Giants' opinions. Otherwise, comments by both you guys. The best duo in New York Giant live channel. I, feel I, I have no words other than to say that's incredibly kind because I'm an idiot. <laughs> I must be one too because I have you on. Yeah, true. That's that, no, that's very kind. I'm, I'm that is very kind, Suto. And I, you know what? I have to, I have to admit, we get a lot of nice. I, I mean, we get, I get a, a lot of nice. I don't share them with Dom, so I don't want to get them. I mean, his head any bigger than her. I only get the bad ones. But I always, I always get a lot. We get a lot of nice comments that uh, people enjoy the the Dom and Tim show on uh, Tuesday at four thirty Eastern Standard Time. We will still be four o'clock. <laughs> what time it is? Well, uh, like four thirty wouldn't be the end of the world for me, actually. But. Four o'clock, and I hopefully Dom can still continue uh, even after this, because technically the season ends today. And the new start of the NFL next season is until March 16th. So, I mean, we'll the still NFL be. The NFL season really end, though. Let's be it's honest. Never, it was the, the official start yeah, of the next yeah, exactly. season is March 16th. Uh, I didn't even have to Google it. Um, but I do get a lot of comments that people enjoy the Dom and Tim hour or two hours or three hours, whatever the hell it is. And I hope Dom can continue even with this off season. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm happy to be on as long as you want me on. Okay, well, that, that would make that easy. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 as soon as I said it, I was like... Yeah. You knew what was happening. It's like Literally a train. blinked and I was wonking. Um, Tuto, Tuto is so nice because this show is like a train wreck. <laughs> it really it's a train wreck. It's a car wreck. It's one of those things you're driving down on the road. You're rubbing necking because you want to see the accident. <laughs> Everyone in the chat is just rubbing necking. You just want to see the accident. Oh, my goodness. I, it's it's. Uh, but I appreciate that. I really do. I mean, I do think, uh, I think we've caught on a little bit. I mean, I think some of our high, our, some of our higher numbers, our highest numbers in reference to people in the streams at four o'clock is we we've topped out at anywhere between one fifty five and 200. So, I mean, I think that's just crazy. Four o'clock in the afternoon on a Tuesday. <laughs> on a, on a Tuesday. <laughs> I mean, that, that to me, just, uh, I mean, that's, that's just, we got to give away this ring, Dom. I have one more Eli Manning replica 2007 Super Bowl ring. Mike Wakefield took the last one when he actually got the um, got the question right. I forgot what the question even was. Oh, he, he picked the score. It was like week 16 that he got the score right. His ring is actually going to be at his house on Monday. I just tracked it. What are we going to do for a uh, What are we going to do for a quick contest here, Don? Uh, well, you've either got to guess the score or you. No, I, have... I want to do a contest now. I was going to say I I I have. One possible question. Okay. Well, wait. wait. Which, when you kept, I, I've me. had it on the stocks for weeks and weeks. But, I'll, but type, I'll, type it to me in the chat. We're going to give away this ring, guys. We're going to have the big ring giveaway right now. I'm going to wait till Dom types in this so we know exactly what we're going to be doing. Got two for you there. Two for me. That's what she said. Two for one. Uh, two for one. Two for one. Because you want to know why it's two for one night? Because it's only the best place to go in the entire UK. It's Poppycockers. I just got my Poppycock at Poppycockers, the best in adult entertainment on the West End. If you're looking to get your Poppycock, you know where to go. Because it's not only two for one elf night, it's bring your troll in. If anyone that brings their troll gets not only one, not only two, but gets three Poppycocker coupon coupons. Don, did you type it yet? <laughs> I saw it there. It's That's only you. one. It's two. Uh, two credit points. Look in one message, and it was there before you poppycocked, <laughs> which shows how fast I was for once. Uh, is this a question you want to ask? No, I'm just saying they're the only ones I've got. All right. Uh, Otherwise, it's on you. I had these ready weeks, weeks and weeks ago when you kept asking me quiz questions. And I wasn't prepared, so I've been waiting for them for like ten weeks. <laughs> I don't know. And I, I, well, one of them is a Cowboys question. How am I giving a giant ring away for a Cowboys question? It's not. That's a bloody answer, you tit. <laughs> <laughs> I actually knew it was the answer. I just didn't like the question. <laughs> 
I just didn't like notice. I put the answer to the first question on the screen as well. Yeah, I know. I, I'm thinking I like that question better, but that's why I didn't. That's why I didn't mess up, mess up the question. <laughs> Uh, for those that don't know, the last team to score 10 points or fewer in the first half of each game of a season was before this season, before this season. Um, hmm. I don't know. We got, uh, you have to have the second, the, the, the second one. The second one's quite a toughie. The second one's a toughie, but that's something someone can Google. Well, anyone could Google any of the questions. It's, it's whether we trust them to answer or not. So we know and, we Ron Juan wants to know, can someone explain to me how the Bengals made it to the Super Bowl with a bad online, but the Giants couldn't even make it into the wild card game because they had a good defense. Their defense played well, and they also had some wide receiver guy. Well, and, they had a couple. Well, let's, let's not forget T. Higgins as well, uh, not just yeah. Jamal Chase. Yeah. Uh, they've got a running back in Mixon that can run. Uh, their offense is not one-dimensional. I think we need to have a giant question, though. I think we need to have a giant Yeah, question. I agree, I agree. We need the Giants is the answer, by the way, to that last last team. Well, I know, I know that, I know that. I no, know I'm, that. Just, I'm just saying, Jack. I know, Jack. I know that. Should we have a giant question, or should we have? Okay, you know what? I gotta. We're gonna do a, a uh, We're gonna do an, a uh, Dom and Tim online big blue question. Our online. Well, I don't even know what our show is called. <laughs> it's a Dom and Tim hour. Two hours and twenty nine minutes in. Um, okay, the question is going to be. And this is this is this is going to be an easy question. So everyone, get your. You know, there's no googling. Dom, you could play as well. Everyone, get well, your. Been, well, you know I won't be googling. Everyone, get your fingers ready to type. This is a online big blue Dom question, and this is an easy question. And I'm going to take the first one that pops up timestamp wise on the screen. So whoever's the first one that I see with the answer on the screen, Dom and I. I think it was either the second or third show that we have done on NFL talk from across the pond in the back, but we have mentioned it and get ready guys. We have mentioned it on this show as well. So you not only do you have to be an online big blue Dom fan, but you got to be an NFL talk from across the pond, in the back fan. What was, so was only one you, person we were chancing. <laughs> I know. That's great. What was we, we, we had decided that when the Jacksonville Jaguars move from Jacksonville to London, Dom and I picked a name for the team. And we and I still and I still think it's the best name of the team. What was the first name of the team that we came up with when Jacksonville moves to London? Do you remember, Dom? I just put it in the private chat. You are correct, but Dom is not playing. For Eli Manning replica Super Bowl ring 2007 replica, what was the name of the new team in London that comes over from Jacksonville? No, it's not the Bobby Cockers. This is an easy one. The Queens. I would have been going, nope, not the Queens. That's another good one, though. The Poppy Cockers. Everyone nope. with the Poppy Cockers. Nope, nope, nope. It's not the Poppy Cockers. Far too early for Poppy Cockers. That was we, just, we have, we that have was just a pipe dream back then. We Yeah, that was just the fish and chips. <laughs> fish and chips. I like that. Um, you know what? No one's going to come up with it, but it, the, the hamsters would have been a great name. We would, we yeah, would have, the hamsters would have been good. Too. But for the Eli Manning Replicas 2007 Super Bowl ring, what is the name of the team that Dom and I came up with that is going to go over to Jacksonville? The, yeah, we'll check the Yeah. Bloody blokes. Bloody blokes. I like that one too. Well, I get these are much, these are actually better names than what we came up. Big Ben's. I mean, wow. <laughs> Big Ben's Big Ben's is something you can get at Poppy Cockers. What would that mean? That's even better. <laughs> Should I give another question along with this question? You might have to. Because here's an e here's another here's another easy one. And again, it's a Dom and Tim question. What type of animal? Did da did Dawn did the Dama? Hello, love. Did Dom think was running wild in Washington D.C. when the D.C.s were you know, Washington was trying to come up with the name of their team? What animal was running wild in the street that Dom thought was running wild in the streets of D.C.? Dom did fall for this. I don't Dom, know. Dom did. I don't know. I don't know why one is referring himself to uh, as himself. You did fall. Person. I was trying to be. I was trying to be nice. But what wild animal did Dom thinks ran in the streets of DC? A ferret. Not even. Uh, like no, not ferret. the hogs are going. Wait, what, what animal? But I need the entire animal. A rhino. 
All you have to do, you know what the worst thing is? All you have to go, <laughs> the hamster, all you have to do is go and look up the names. <laughs> I'm giving people hints. Just go up and look at the names <laughs> of, the, of the Washington teams. By the way, I'm so disappointed they've got a new name these days. I know. I know. Should I give everyone what the name was for the... Uh... Yeah, no one's getting that. They yeah, the, the name Dom and I came up with was the London Lamplighters. Red Wolves. He's close. Close. Omar, you're so close. So close. Someone else has been close as well. Similar animal. Similar animal. Skyler's too too late, but... uh... Similar animal. It's in the same genus (laughs) of that animal. (laughs) Where? It's in the same genus. Close. I'm going to give another hint. Sometimes people keep them as pets. <laughs> Kareem, if you have a fox, I don't know. If Kareem has got a fox, <laughs> that'd be that'd be cool though. If you had a fox. Sometimes there's episode, there's episode of my favorite kids TV show, Fireman and Sam. Someone uh, where they kept a fox. <laughs> That's true. That's true. They did have a fox of fire and Sam. Oh, Sam. Uh, a panther. Don't make me rant on that again. Oh, my God. No, it's not a panther. So if you, Carlos, if you have a panther, <laughs> Lamplighter is the character name from the boys. He is, he controls fire like Pyro and from the X Men. I, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Sounds no, cool. Lost me. The no, Jaguars. No. No, look, if you're gonna say it, say it was panache style. Oh my god, you know what, people, this is not that good. <laughs> it's a Jaguar, which is not the answer to the question, but um, that's how you say it. Come on, uh, I, you know, I want to just give the answer, uh, because of the fact that no, I don't think anyone's gonna get it. And, right, and do, I get it getting, do I get it for getting both answers right? You get you get both, you get both. Well, answers. I'm still waiting on my cup, but you get you know, what's funny if you're also waiting on a cup, I am. It, I, the, wasn't joking, time, I wasn't joking. No, actually, I was going to bring this up. If you're still waiting on your cup, please be patient. It's eight to twelve weeks delivery time. I'm 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 easy. I have other cups. Eight, to, but it's eight one. to twelve weeks uh-huh. right now for cups. All right, I'm going to make this. Um, uh, you know, let's do a uh, let's you know let's try a giant trivia question. Because everyone, no one evidently can figure out this one. <laughs> you want me to give the answer? You give the answer. Wild dogs. Yeah, Skyler, you almost said it right. It's wild dogs. And uh, someone else did as well when they said dogs, but it wasn't the full answer. It's not. You got to have the full answer. The wild dogs. This is a question everyone can Google. This is Apart a question. from me, because it'll take too long. Jeff, this, is a question, every, this is a question that everyone can Google. It's a giant question. This is again for the Eli Manning replica Super Bowl ring 2007. What was the first year? Or what was the first year, the first meeting ever happened between the Giants and the Dallas Cowboys? The first year the Giants and the Dallas Cowboys played. What is the first? What what year? You don't have to give the date. Just give me the year. I'm now going to Google it, but I've had my answer in my head. <laughs> well, well, type it before you Google it. Type it. Something. What is the first year? Oh, no, Cowboys- I'll, I'll tell you what I said beforehand. We, we are. Now, what is the first year? And I, I'm waiting for the very first person to Google it. Some people are close. Oh, I was close as well. Well, people are close. What is the first year? <laughs> now, remember, the Cowboys have been around <laughs> since the 60s. Uh, I'm not going to Google it. I'm eating. Well, Skylar, that's it. See ya. Good God, people don't know how to use Google. <laughs> how many dollars? I, 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 do you know what? Suddenly, suddenly, I'm looking like I might be able to go to the Olympics. I might be in. I, 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 think, I think suddenly, I mean, I, <laughs> I, I, I've, I've now given what my answer was and what the answer is. Zach comes sure. in with 1960. Zach Attack has won. They got replica Eli Manning. I, I, I had 19, 1960 was the first year the Giants had played the Cowboys. And that is the inception of the Cowboys. 
I would just thought people would looked up what's the first year the Cowboys played a game. That's what I that's what I googled after I had my guess. I, I said sixty two. I wasn't. And I, I, and I even gave a hint said it's the nineteen sixty. I didn't say sixties. I said it's the nineteen sixties they played it. <laughs> I thought that was a hint. But the Zach yeah. attack takes the big question. Here they go. Skyler comes in with uh, comes in with December fourth, nineteen sixty. Uh, I don't know which card. I don't. Um, uh, I don't know. I forget you. Got, I forget you guys have it the other way around to us. It definitely yeah. wasn't the twelfth of April. <laughs> it defeats the purpose to Google, but you know yeah. what? I mean, it's but at this point in time, we're two hours and nine minutes in. I can't stay here all day. <laughs> I can't stay here all day. And I always tell people, you know, Zach Attack did come in. Zach Attack came in strong. Let's give a big congratulations to Zach because he did get the answer right. He, he, a, got it right, and B, has been Googling like a pro. Ben, ben Googling. We're, my deficiencies. where Dom cannot Google. Zach Attack knows how to Google. Zach, you have my email. Send me your address, or did you have, and I will ship you out your ring tomorrow. The rings are easy because the ring's coming from a distributor. <laughs> I don't have to do anything. I just go in and type in. I just go in and type in Zach's address and they send it off. Uh, but six, eight to 12 weeks for coffee mugs. Can you believe that? Eight to 12 weeks. Yeah, evidently I can. That's crazy. I, I got an email about it yesterday because I have six coffee mugs that have been ordered individually and sent out. And then the guy tells me, I'll say it, it's Vistaprint. <laughs> I'm going to blow them up a little bit. And then the guy tells me, well, if you would have just ordered them in bulk and had it sent to yourself and then you uh, mailed them out yourself, it would have been like two to four weeks. And I said, but it defeats the purpose of me doing that by just having them sent from you guys. Because <laughs> that's what the service is. It's an on-demand printing. Are, 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 are there, is there decision making slower than Daniel Jones's? It appears so. I think it is. I felt bad for the guy, though. I yelled at him a little bit. I definitely now feel sorry for him. I yelled at him a little bit. I yelled. I had to yell at him a little bit. It was just taking. It was just taking him. Uh, Tim, what's the sp uh, What is the spread today? Tim, big spread for the game or what? Oh, uh, actually, yes. Uh, it's snowing, but I'm still barbecuing. And uh, I have some hot dogs and some stuff I'm going to do. And I still have some... <laughs> Dom, we lost. We're losing I you. Talking... I thought you were talking Dom, about betting. Dom, you are frozen. I'm not falling for it again. You're still frozen, my friend. Not falling for it again. <laughs> it's kind of cool because it's just like, I got to take a screenshot of that. Hold on. Because that's going to be. That's going to go on one of our. That's going on one of my things. Because that's just the Dom smiling and not even moving. I wasn't falling for it today. No, actually, I'm not joking. <laughs> I'm seriously this time. This is one of those times like when, you know, you yell fire so many times and no one believes you or you yell dinosaur so many times and there's like a Tyrannosaurus Rex outside your building. I'm actually literally not joking this time. Where do you live? A natural History Museum? Uh, Jurassic but Park. I was watching. <laughs> oh, oh I did get to watch. Um, uh, what did I get? To? I got to watch Resident Evil Raccoon City last night. So that was actually a good movie. True barbecuers. <laughs> that's right. That's right, Omar. There you go, Dom. Now you're moving. That's why. True barbecuers, we barbecue in the snow. Tim we wants barbecue in the rain because if we don't, we never have this, a Yeah, barbecue. I was going to say. <laughs> Tim wants to save on shipping. I did want to save on shipping, to be honest. That's why I did it. I was being cheap because, you know, what? I pay for all this stuff, guys. <laughs> People forget this. People are like, well, why don't you listen to this? I pay for all this stuff out of my own pocket i don't just you know i'm not rich like dom i don't own a strip club i might own two uh 20th and 7th or something i'm i'm playing in a u.s franchise <laughs> I, I i know yeah it's gonna be yeah it was uh vinny it was 60 the last two days before today and then on tuesday and wednesday i think it's gonna be 60 degrees again in, in the uk and you you can in the pa true barbecue a barbecue in the snow char Omar, man, charcoal or natural gas? I don't cook with that dinosaur shit. I cook with charcoal. <laughs> I cook on a big green egg. The only thing you use is charcoal. Uh, let's see here. We're going to close this out real soon. Here. Uh, who do you guys got tonight? Dom, I've already said I got the Rams 35-28. Dom, your score was? 27-20, I think. 27-20. Rams, obviously. 
The Rams, right? Of course. See, even he knows I got Mr. The Mr. For Real knows I got a big green egg. You got the big green egg. Uh Don oh Dom owes what Dom owes me 15 pounds and five pence. What is that conversion? 15 pounds and five pence into dollars. Uh I'd afford no that. into wampum. <laughs> All right, small. So yes, in the dollars. I'd have thought about twelve dollars ish. But I haven't checked the uh, exchange rate recently, and I would Google it. But again, time's against us. Shipping can cost money. The bigger the word. That's the problem. If I would have shipped it, if shipping it individually is in these small boxes. It's like two bucks to ship. But if I ship them in bulk, it's your it's, box back. Yeah, I know. Put up. I already took care of it because uh, the moderator evidently disappeared. Um, if if I shipped it in bulk, it was like 30, 40 bucks just to ship it. And then I was going to have to turn around and pay to reship it. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. I think a lot of people, though, Dom, I, I think a lot of people don't uh, and don't know. And I don't, I don't really like talking about it. But, yeah, I buy all this stuff. <laughs> I pay for all this stuff. Like the Super Bowl rings, I pay for those. <laughs> so correct answer is charcoal. Dom's going to have to give away a prize because I'm going broke. <laughs> That's natural. <laughs> Dom's prize is going to be an autographed picture of me. I had it the other way around, $20. <laughs> it's $12. You don't know your own conversion rate? Uh, no, I, I I thought the pound had dropped massively. I should have gone the other way. I'm saying the Bengals because I want to replicate the Super Bowl run they did with LSU in college. Oh, well, I've been wanting the Bengals since the playoff started. Uh, I want the Bengals to win tonight. I just don't think they will. I think it's a, a game too far. We got Vinny G's coming in at 35-30 Rams. Too many weapons for the Bengals secondary. Burroughs is going to get sacked eight times. If he only gets sacked eight, eight times, Dom, I might be shocked. Oh, I, 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 I think they're going to run it a lot more, which will cut down the sacks. I think he'll be sacked five times. I'm going to take the under on that. You're going to take, take the under on that? Mm. All right, let's see. Any more ones here? Because we're going to close this out because we've gone two hours and 16 minutes. Yeah, I need to do bedtime in a minute. And Dom needs to go to... It's five no, o'clock. I don't need to. No, I need to do the kids' bedtime. Not. Oh, not I me. Five o'clock. Or, or, although my phone will be off a lot tomorrow because I I've got a big big day at work tomorrow, so I'm not watching it till tomorrow. So I'm not on the internet, not doing anything tomorrow. So you know that I'm going to get up real early and Google you the score. You Google me the score, I will genuinely be pissed. I'm going to. I, I, well, I, I'm going to text you the score. I got to Google yeah. this. So I will text you the score. Yeah, no, in the morning. Seriously, seriously, I, I, I'm, I'm genuinely, genuinely. What time uh, are you going to watch it. in the morning? I'm not. I've got, I've got literally got to go to work. Uh, right. Super early, like oh, so you have to actually go in the office again. No, no, no. I'm working. I just need to work real, real early. My wife works on a Monday. I've got my mother-in-law coming over. There's no school tomorrow. Like super early. I've got, I've got super, super exciting day tomorrow. Well, not exciting, but busy. Yeah, we'll have to watch color. I'll have to Google. Let's see. So you're five hours ahead. I, I probably nine won't watch o'clock it would be four in the morning. So I will Google you at four. In, I'll text you at four in the morning. I will probably not genuinely not watch it until about three o'clock tomorrow afternoon. that's why i'm going to be nice to you get up at four in the morning and text you the score you can my phone will be off i don't care <laughs> but I'm, I'm genuinely, I'm I'm genuinely I'm watching to, i genuinely i genuinely watch it till three o'clock tomorrow morning i will be super pissed if anyone texts me obj is gonna light it up mr for real got six touchdowns by the way no enjoy the game later gentlemen enjoy the game so happy. Biddy G's also out of the house enjoy the super bowl fellas great content great fun as always i appreciate everyone that stopped by as always momentum is quarter to quarter games are far apart. Do I don't. we believe in momentum again now? Are we allowed to? Is allowed? Are we allowed to believe in momentum again? I think we are. We only have forty-seven right. likes. I'm not happy. I don't know why I'm not supposed to be having my moderate test. I'm not supposed to be happy with the likes. Enjoy I your chart. I, 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 I like before I joined. There you go. Well, I appreciate that. You know what? I don't even like my own videos. Something wrong with me. I think you're supposed to do that. Zach says, Tim, I sent you an email. Let me check, Zach. Hold on before we sign off. Let me just check real quick. Let me Google the email. Dom, is, Dom at Her Majesty's Secret Spy. Uh, let's see, Zach. I don't see the email. Let me see. Hold on. I got to sign in now. Oh my God, this is like Dom Googling. Dom, you have anything to say? Uh, oh, I got the, Zach, I got it. I'll send it out today. Uh, actually, I'll send it. I'll actually put the order in today. I'll send you the tracking number tomorrow morning. I got it. Dom, you got anything to say? 
Come on, we're closing out. This is the no, dog. Section. I know, I know. But every time you ask me that, I have nothing. Uh, as we hence I was playing on it. Uh, yeah, no, same to you, Logic's Finest. Look, thanks for everyone. Really good, fun show. Enjoy your Super Bowl tonight slash tomorrow for me. Um, yeah, I, hopefully it'll be a really good game. I think it, I think it will be two good offenses. It's going to be one on on those on that D line, be the O line. Should be a good game. Uh, come on, the Bengals, but no, I think the Rams have it. I think so too. Omar says like and subscribe, and I appreciate that as well, uh, guys. It's been fun. We're we're closing in on ten thousand. I don't know what the uh, Zach. What's the count? <laughs> What's the what's the count of and Dom? Don't tell me ninety four hundred. <laughs> what's the count? What's my what's our subscriber count? Because I got no idea. I, I know I, I know we're closing in. I think we're I know we're closing. Zach does some some website. I forget what the website he does. Um, that does um, that gives you like the exact number. But I think we're over four uh, nine thousand four hundred now. I think you can check it on YouTube. I've worked out how to do it the other day by mistake because I pressed on something. Oh, you know, if you go to my homepage. Yeah, I think it tells I you think, that. And you go I did it by mistake. Out. No, that doesn't work. <laughs> there, there is a way to do it. I did it. I did it in error the other day. You know. You know what? You just cracked me up, Don. We have no idea how this works. <laughs> no idea how this shit works. Hell, I haven't even subscribed to my own channel. I'm. I, I'm that. I'm that bad at all things IT. I once drew something on a piece of paper, held it up to the camera, and said, "I want you to make it look like this." <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you make. I don't know how you get the number, Don. Uh, my phone is my phone on? No, my phone. Yeah, my phone is on. Let me. I did it the other day. I don't know how you get the number. Oh, 9,410. Oh, here's how you get the number. How I've do you worked it out. You ask Zach, he does it for you. <laughs> oh, Zach Attack's always in the house. Omar, thank you again. Call almost 10,000. Such a short, not a short time. It's been two and a half years. <laughs> yeah, but it's grown massively in recent The last, times. like, uh, ever since the Giants started sucking. <laughs> I was gonna say, ever, since, ever since you had me on. Oh no, everything that's true too. <laughs> oh, oh, gi- although I probably cost you more subscribers. I, you I, I like when I like when Dom's on because of the fact that um it makes you look even I better. lose subscribers. You did once. <laughs> no, I've done a couple times. I'll get like I negative mean, four, negative three. I'm like, wow, people really don't like Dom. <laughs> but then Sorry, so, guys. but then I love this because someone sent me a comment. And I thought it was a great comment. And they were like, I I subscribe to your channel and I unsubscribe to your channel all the time. And then, then they wrote dot, dot, dot. But now I just subscribe because of the fact that you're normally right. <laughs> and I should always give you the benefit of the doubt. I was like, well, that's a great comment. <laughs> so I was like, I appreciate that. Hey, the I, I sometimes have to unsubscribe as well. That's normally because sometimes it drops out when it won't let it doesn't give you the notification. I find unsubscribing, resubscribing, restarts them again sometimes. No, I didn't know that. We hit our goal of 50 likes, but let's get that up there next time. Thank you, moderator. Finally showed up. <laughs> he must have been in the potty. Uh, Social Blade is the name of the website, Don, that gives you the numbers. I managed it through Google the other day, uh, through YouTube the other day. I don't know. I like when people tell me you're almost at this. You're almost at that. I'm like, wow. Uh, 1,641 subscribers for the last 30 days you gained. Yeah. And my, um, my Zach, my, um, my view count that I can see my view counts just gone through the roof. My not the view is not view count, but also, which is cool. Shut up. (laughs) Talking technical here with Zach. Um, And my impression talking with me. My impression rate and my impressions has gone through the roof. I don't know. I don't know how. I guess I'm in the analytics now because my impressions are now just like, like crazy. I'm assuming you mean something different other than your draft baby. Uh, draft baby, yeah. Oh shit, we didn't do the draft baby contest. That that's on draft night, not now. Oh no, but I also said I said my count says I'm nine thousand four hundred. What do you say, nine thousand four hundred ten? My count says nine thousand four hundred. Maybe I've gained you ten subscribers for once. That would be nice. That would be nice. I'm looking at my I analytics. I mean, still, st- still, still make me minus seven hundred sixty-three. But yeah, my reach has gone up to like my impressions used to be like uh, impressions are the number of times that people see your your ads or see your 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 video. My impressions have went from like nine thousand, nineteen thousand, eight thousand. To 78,000, 63,000, 69,000, 55,000, 91,000. 
So that means my impressions are in the uh, the analytics. I'm talking Sorry. to Zach. I'm not talking <laughs> to you. Uh, likes help with notifications to subscribers if the notifications don't get sent out. Ooh, okay. Omar is now my tech guy. Zach is the Googler. Omar. I know. I, I, I know. I'm the subscriber killer. Omar. Omar is the uh, is our now is our YouTube tech guy. Dom is comic relief. And I'm just and I'm just dropped up gorgeous. I, I mean, I'll take comic relief over what I would have said, which was subscriber killer. Tweets also help. I do tweet now more, Omar. But how does that help? <laughs> uh, we, no, we can't, we can't have this presence. conversation because Dom's got to go. <laughs> we can't have this conversation. I didn't know that. In the tweets, I didn't know tweets helped. I do tweet. I set the internet on fire. I set the tweeter on fire with my tweet about Malik Wells. <laughs> Going on with bad dog helps. Maybe go. Maybe bad dog having me on helps. What people think of that. <laughs> Dom is a comic and a poppy cock and poppy cock. What's up, Carlos? Uh, hello. I'll, again. Say, I'll take that all day long. I'll take that. Eagles Nest. We're dropping out. Eagles Nest. What's going on, my brother? Appreciate you stopping by as always. Thank you, Omar. I've been trying to tell Tim that. What are you trying to tell Tim that tweeting can also? I, can, helps. Can I, can, I wait, can I just give Omar and the mod a, a word of advice? If you want Tom, Tim to do something, tell him the complete opposite to what you want him to do, and he'll do that. You want to know something funny? I don't fall for that anymore. <laughs> That's what your producer said. It took 53 <laughs> years, but I don't fall for that anymore. Oh, that's yeah, okay. We're not going to get along, me and the producer. <laughs> we're not going to get along. <laughs> I explained to Dom why we're not going to get along. He tried to tell you what you had to do. He didn't try to tell me what to do. (laughs) He tried to do something. He tried to pull his dominance. He tried to like, he tried, you know, they say like, it's, it's that he tried, he tried to piss on me. He tried to pull his dominance. Like he's going to dominate me. And little, little little does he know I subscribe to prison, uh, prison yard mentality. We find the biggest guy in the yard and you pop him. (laughs) And the problem is I'm the biggest guy in the yard. Plus side for me is I'm the smallest guy in the yard, so I'll be on. <laughs> it note it notifies Twitter subscribers when you're on. It does. How do I do that? Omar, email me at uh, Dom's Her Majesty's Secret Service at <laughs> Dom the Googler. Do you know what? There'll be someone. There'll be someone out there with that email address going. What the. F- is this? Why do people keep emailing me this <laughs> stuff? <laughs> N- number 0011 is like, why do I keep getting emails? Uh, it notifies the Twitter subscribers when you are on. Do I have to like link link your Twitter account? That's what Zach, that's what Zach is saying. But I'm going to tell you link your account. Twitter account. I don't ask me. I'm presuming you're asking them. It's like T Brad the other day was like, uh, what's your Instagram account? I was like, uh, Tim is dead sexy at Instagram.com. <laughs> I don't have an Instagram account. Oh, Timmy. I am going to have to drop in a second. All right. You have to say I am streaming. On t- All right, guys, we're going to drop out of here because I want to talk to Dom for real quick before he heads out. I want to just talk. I want to thank everyone for dropping in for me, Dom and Tim and across and I'll talk from across the pond the back and whatever hell the, sh- the show is. I uh, appreciate everyone coming by. See you all on Tuesday. Omar, email me at uh, onlinebigblue at gmail.com with these things you're talking about. That's onlinebigblue at gmail.com. You can do that as well, Zach, because I have no clue what you guys are talking about, but it sounds cool. All right, we're out of here. I appreciate it, Dom. Say goodnight. Uh, Good night.